Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Di online bantah babi channel lomba November twenty twenty three. Eight eighteen forty five pm right now in the Gambia. Eighteen forty five pm in the UK. Nineteen forty five pm in mainland Europe. Bal Bismillah. Monday's edition of Current Affairs Show. Alu dunia dah ulang bafla leko. Welcome on board and thank you for. Logging on to UDP online, Bantaba. I'll come to my back and I'll jay la. I'll call a wati kumal menta. I'll call and don't come to a lama yam. A monkey controlling a londo sorality. A monkey controlling the raja tati. A monkey controlling the kumaya tati. But he aligned to the nebo, prugana yam. A platform kumal to the platform kumam in contributing to the online Bantaba. I'll say kaja sort of bank of a kajala. A being a lundamba mu uncle Larry Shisalati. Uh, former Secretary General Gambia, Mamea Ankulondi Tiolom, a Dukuke international community, Duku Kendeba, and then at a monkey moti me along co, but I will do call international community, and the only problem was to buy at a retired and in a very in a manner me along could be fitting manner. So, and you did think about it for the Marty, you did to the Alfale Marty, uh, like a Londo La Carola. Patio advice on policy matters. So B at all on Kumati Prunga Kata sort of uh Gambia la budget or draft estimates twenty twenty four. So Jani Uncle Larry do not rec Nzal Kondong I'll tend to back in Al J. No condom looking at one from killing killing when I dimbalo alamama satellite care about in my sutura and sujatic magic and alto bulbil master is also to Meli alam ko kolej albi la karola mansa tumla ila kul shomi andi bulu alama sasa tulu falang mansa tumla ila kurang lu ay jaro ay jara meli alam ko sabante frewlam na duwe alama alayi sa abjana sina hola and in this vein be na kolej minka tapa boy Arab in the Germany abama belat la in sibitu lugo ni sibitu lungo ngamira information na nata kumba ara yata prikama big politician politician bale mati pa ora ni bama alama namu nima ni nkafor kelari alama ala yaso ojeno sena wala mba konto na nga konto ni facebook koto bati mba konto ni facebook nga kole kasa mba konto nga ya nga jeku mo jama ba play sa mba konto nga ya Paboy ara o deepest condolences to you and the entire family. Maybe Brikama, Brikama, sana kuna kulebe kundo nchangola. Mero alama tala dani ni fisa la dunia ti ni ni kuyalo. Animfana pa kalifu me alonko wale ni amina kirongan imam seku ture wala kalifu general di wale fana mbanda Gambia. Nadi mama ni sisi ya kanga kula formal kuna mbedu wala alfa ba ya alama alaya so jana sina wala so mi ni nyama nang kuli kuto na sangu wala mi gambi nang kuli kuto na sangu wala ani sabante free to malbe alama alaya la jana sone yandi mani dunia na tulunta yalla jang fi idangwe gama ni serek yalla muge wa ibaken budunda dina most day lolo mum amu garab every minute every second yinge kena jaga nchini ba meli yalla muge Sinyo nak mufeka si yon buba lulu mo nyambi. This is also my deepest condolences to the people of Nyamina and also Pabo Ara Brikamo. 
who lost his mom on Saturday. And on behalf of Bandaba, Mesango Kontona. Yeah, and in Sabah, different to Malbi. Yo, my name is the Kontona Roll and said, Do a Cairo for another Banco Kang. Alama Ale Tengu Sabah in the Banco Kang, but Alama Ale Namansakunda, Bondi Jim, Nimansakunda, Kurumo, Membe Nyato. United Democratic Party from Alama Ale Kambe was Sabah in the Maltem, Alama Ale in Alfal Mendi Nyato, Kabo, His Excellency, Aladio Sinutabo. Ajara to Yam Sek, Ajara to Yam the Gay Yabo, Ajara to Sukai in a car, Bajamba Bojang, Na Alfalu, Uncle Amadu Kora, Naninyatu Nkulu, Na Alfalu, Alama Ale Mendinyatu, Alama Ale Patiofanang, a Kambi Mosaman to the Maltema Melbi Gambi, Adi Melbi Diaspora. Na executive members of Fananga Due, and in the Mayor Fulu, and in the Chairperson Sulu, Alama Ale Tanka, a Jamfandi. Say Tanu Lanimu Kurumul la Fere Kurumul Ikamil City Kama. Alama Alay Cairo Kenya twenty twenty six, Nikamen Yinga Soto. By at a Sotalano, Nimman Kambeng, Naniolika Kilimoti, Nga one gold Soto, Prunga Gambia Bondi. A Palace New Sabo, Ananda Talale. In Palace will be Nafatala in UDP in 2026 with Alaban Tangala. Bala Musa, be content na Baki Bala Musa, Jalaman Keita, be content. Then na brother content na Bala, Bala member member Gambia, Bala Bunyi Makita, member member content na Bunyi Makita member Manchester, member member na Baki. Bala mu UDP la bari ma baliti. Ah, so Jani Uncle Larry been joined now. Um. Uh, we need to we need to get focus ngaka kilindi kunung aliye jara ish consortium na alfa bami na raja alaji hijinke kanji aliye la yamaro moile na fundraising menke jan jara ish la consortium udp jara ish udp consortium ebe fundraising bani kala december 30th Seneca Jamie Hall, but they all gear towards Runga, but you are Marquee, they are not going to. Ah, come to the article, my tobacco. Koku Ibakela Hanatre Moon, Symphonia Letagi Nalman Camden, Al Sundamoli, killing what in a new Kakilopi, Akake, Tanya to say commodity, Manning Golgan, Tanya to say in common, Mamma Jordan Durio Manica Kamui, Tanya to say in common. Fully translate the lives of George Moore. It will more la it will more of manika come out. So Tanya to say in Kono Womu Masi Bolet. Alama Alain Tankawala. A fung like a killing oti. Na direction like a killing oti. Na bampuna alpha al coma. Na example of the Allah Janne. Kunun Kole Lai Bira President elect member Sanji Tawara Wala Seventy eight year old Joseph. Bakai, president elect of Liberia. Liberia la five million plus population. Well, my long go uh in Keva Yatale. You don't have we don't need old power. In Diamo Kalantamulu, in Diamo Melialunko, Mubka Kuna Fenu Bondi, Akatra Gambiale, we are turning control for the name for elevate Lale. Backward mentality. I bona system of colour. No more bon conotron to work in the colour monotron. Uh, Uncle Larry Duntale, but Janine Nabe Kajabat I will give you guys synopsis of the program in Sidan overview. The Alabena Dalim Kondom Alima, Maya Lungu Fanang, Avon Katala Balti, a tele program on your phone advertise UTP online Pandava Pedro. But in Kajabu, I do okay, Uncle Larry Vinala Jarek, probably a Kasawar Lady, Yalong, you could uncool it and your fast salad and go to Jela Court. Blood is thicker than water. <laughs> Blood is thicker than water. <laughs> Blood is thicker than water. So the uncle mm -hmm. I got a lot of nitro seed in Tenkun and Tet Tet Tet. I could be arranged. But anyway, uh, Barimolo, I'll say it. Lamoy Kachala, my uncle Kachal, the Kumayala Baki. Manna Jampu Kadiamu, the left of the Amul, never follow for them. Well, I'm Kafuni, Manikan Suakamala. Well, I'm going to get that audio to Kroning Jara is consulting. I'm going to get that audio to Kroning Jara is consulting. 
Me alun kuin vaihdoin vain programmoin pantaan kei recording to audios. I will program from the record like kun leikin de idee. Kun de idee janjan in najara formal be kono. Uh, so nata kacham ben najam. Na anaun zale ne kunungo onkul lari be tala jam. Gambia la depasho budgeto. Ha ngamera de, de, budgeto mo bi nyanto lana bikhani suo kono kana budgeto lsoro ne. Mo mo yande la budget so la ila 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 domestic budget ila bungko no budgeto de paso kurango geo ika mensan deni ko la fatam fanso adining mulu sa sa ko me la expenditure income on expenditure basically so banku o banku akatama ni budgeto la ning mu constitutional provision that is mandatory walam by force sa wosang mo 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 minister of finance and economic affairs ti. Fighter deputy Bungo, Luai Olefo, I Gambia la Bojeto, I assembly deputy Oleka approve. Minister, Buka approve, deputy Oleka approve. Nin deputy Olma approve, Akake, estimate, let Ulanika estimate. But Ning, deputy Ole approve, right? then it becomes substantive, it becomes budget. So Ni Uncle Larry Minajam, but Uncle Larry Blai, come to Broke Drum. Ah, then Gana Dunkata, Uncle Larry, welcome to Bantaba one more time. Thank you, Seku. Allah Baraka. Uh, good evening to Seku and his listeners and viewers. Good to be back. Yeah, good to see you, Uncle Larry. Um, not a Kachala Kotengi, but um, Uncle Larry, uh, Niwato Gono, na friend, Sidi Keta, I Kaitu Udeda, Gambia de Paso, Abasambala, Deputy Bumoto. Sidi Keta may in Senegambia Brigo Tile. Africa 15. But it be a diata in a quieter knee. I tell them what I mean, economy at the level of cabinet. Very much in Gambia economy is the Minister of Responsible Finance and Economic Affairs. What I think that he's under a lot of spotlight. But the uncle, um, don't even do not into the details. Kakulu Jabba Kese Water Molly. Love it off all your combe. Do not program on a structure in your main B. Ni ma ni onko lari betala be ni estimate o bala sidi kete men somebody pili bungoto major ministries and departments ila budget lines ka old tandal wala um ate mu ni ningkarne ka ko abo kudo le di labla from our government funds mansa kona la depasu and nimboto oto budgeto fong la kumaya. Mando, the Kachafo Matati La Jele, but the Duno for Nancolle. Munati na budgeto Kadeda. Because budgeto Mandeda drum pru ka Saferol ke ka numeral Safe Kaito Baladrum Kalan Divido, a Kumaya Sutole, Kumaya Mujama Fala Faham, Dolme Alango Mansatala de Maroto Nanin na Londo Benin Fanala. Uh, finance in the London New World Tower, Nali Asia. What is the significance of a budget for an economy? Mone nyante kela in terms of macroeconomic fundamentals and in the microeconomic fundamentals. But bo, most importantly, the macroeconomic fundamentals. Jama babi ye niko macroeconomic fundamentals. Ima faham, but in ba trial and explain aliyali. Niko macroeconomic fundamentals. Woy mune nyin to a layman. So nin boto woto butung zina a kachali policy onko lari be dunali a policy do outline niko policy wolom tamandirnya nyin abe mu impact le shotola policy implications and the economy ndere ndenga na judgment o kele kabiru lungume na nyalo nyin bojoto kan follow Ndadanga safero ke na furumo kono mo jama ya didi nko. Let's brace ourselves for more economic hardship. Price rises, prices will go up, inflation will go up, and real economic growth. Because nying manza kunda kamulu nenele, ikafuko, we will have economic growth. But how many Gambians understand the variance between nominal economic growth and real economic growth? What are important? And to us consumers, we don't remember how long ago we don't remember Sunday reality. 
nominal growth is meaningless. Men kumaya to wala real economic growth. So ning nominal growth is showing ten percent, and the real growth is in the negative. Wala ka kwa laya sa mga nang an niman sa kunda al nanata jela yatari GRTS yeny kul jaba kese water le because it left all in darkness. It will not be gambling or any cool calamity. It will not be manala. Member Mabori, while I am told she fell like Kubu Kadiye, I'm told in India I'm taking corny. I control the jaw lady. But Jan Member do not catch a corn. Uncle Larry, when you think it is a initial reaction, brilliant city kettle and your draft estimate. It is initial reaction that I'm Well, um, Assalamu alaikum again. <coughs> Na na second na initial reaction wasn't any different from yours. Uh, in that na budget on in Gibele, I document men present parliament. I think it's 580 plus pages. Uh, mm -hmm. Most of it in tables. Mm -hmm. uh, very little explanatory notes. Mm -hmm. So if you are not a good economist or a finance person, yeah, it will be difficult to decipher whether it can be for an interview for can makes any sense in yeah. in the real world. Yeah. yeah. Um. So now initial reaction was okay. Um. Let us congratulate uh, the ministries and their mm -hmm. technical teams, mm -hmm. uh, including finance, who put. A lot of work in crafting this budget. Mm -hmm. uh, I congratulate because they have not deviated from the way the budget process has been introduced in this country since independence. It's the same system that they have they are using to arrive at what they have arrived at. Mm -hmm. uh, and I always say there are some very good technical people in our ministries. Mm -hmm. uh, what we don't have is to empower them to do the right thing yeah. at the right time. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I congratulate them. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying after the congratulations, though, we need to look at how this budget was crafted. Mm -hmm. Because it's a long, it's a long, most economists out there are long ago. Mm -hmm. uh, you craft a budget based on the macroeconomic framework of the country. Mm -hmm. um, the question is, what is the macroeconomic framework for the country? Mm -hmm. um, that hasn't been explained in the budget process. Mm -hmm. But I'm assuming that uh, it's the NDP that they are working on that they call the ma macroeconomic framework. Because the budget mm -hmm. has to be based on something. Yeah. yeah. Now, if if the budget is based on the NDP, mm -hmm. uh, then we need to ask the question, has the NDP been revised to reflect the post-COVID-19 global economy? Mm -hmm. uh, and if, if that happens, then we say uh, they've done well. Yeah. If that didn't happen, then they've done the same stepwise way of putting together the, the budget. So the macroeconomic framework uh, should be there, and the framework reflects the structure of the economy. Yeah. yeah. Economy benyamen macroeconomic framework kawale support. Budget of ananka ofulole support. So if if they have a framework and the the framework is based on uh, the structure of the economy, then then we are cut and dry in terms of. Uh, uh, the planning process for the mm. budget. Um, may mm. be kole and table domain. I asked somebody mm. whether they have seen the statement of the minister in parliament. Yale ka statement le di kodi. Nte nte hani bi hani bi mau statement so. Ma ma fati. Nte nte ala statement di. Yo. I don't have it, uh, but if the statement, okay, I'll send it to you. Okay, mm -hmm. if the statement says that uh, the budget is based on a macroeconomic framework, and this is the macroeconomic yeah. framework, 
And so therefore the framework is based on this, the budget is based on the structure of the economy. I'll say mm -hmm. congratulations to him. But mm -hmm. um, so, so the starting point is those three issues, macroeconomic framework, the structure of the economy, and the budget that is going to take us from point A to point B. Yeah. Uh, budget, budget process Beolenya, traditionally in this country. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at the, the resource envelope mm -hmm. that is being put in the budget, mm -hmm. you realize that mm -hmm. the structure of the economy, mm -hmm. I mean, the budget reflects the structure of the economy, you will see it start clearly. Mm -hmm. For example, president's office, 800 something million. 872 uh, million. 72 mm -hmm. million. Yeah. Uh, youth and sports, 122 million. Yeah. That tells you where the priorities are. Yeah. And then you go down the list, uh, agriculture, health, education. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you realize that um, the, the, the structural inequalities of the economy are being what is emphasized more mm -hmm. in the way the budget is crafted than anything else. Mm -hmm. And I say this um, with, with due respect to the fact that uh, there is a budget line for senior government officials to go for health treatment, medical treatments abroad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that line was, last year it was 40 million. Today it is... Million ton now. Uh, million million So when I say when I saw that, I actually scratched my head. I said, "Come on, man! If you mm -hmm. if you are willing to put sixty million to go and treat just a handful of people in the civil service, and the rest of us who are taxpayers do not benefit from that, mm -hmm. that actually exacerbates. Aka inequality they emphasize exactly in the system." Mm -hmm. And then Kumatako was 60 million. Neo Dundi Ministry of Health, a beta to improve our healthcare system. Nobody mm -hmm. needs to go out to get treatment. So um, it is exacerbating the, the inequalities in our society. Uh, it is a society that is based on privilege. And when mm -hmm. you look at the different budget items, including travel for the president. Mm -hmm. You realize that we are in trouble. Our economy is really, really in trouble. Mm -hmm. Now, they are saying, and, and the IMF is complicit in this, they are saying the economy is growing at 6 to 7% per annum. Any <laughs> member, them, is it real growth or nominal growth? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you feel that the economy is growing at 6 or 7%? And most of them will tell me, no, I don't feel it. Yeah. So it can only be nominal, nominal growth. Yeah. yeah. But the economy cannot grow in real terms with the kind of expenditure structure that we have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It cannot grow. And mm -hmm. and near near could spend economy to economy man grow uh, uh, in real terms. We are wasting mm -hmm. that money. Uncle Lani, but before before we proceed, yeah, yeah, um, I don't know the genesis of this, but you yeah, for me, the inequality because more than economics current fundamentally resource allocation and have a moment inequality ka talabake ka mulkanya ni banko kang. Whatever to Babu Dujan to a large extent, Jang Isavo, not Bumola Watan in Dante, but Ila Bunko lightly, you know, Jamola Bunti is of Kuramata Dam in Jury Dam in the basics, the basics, the necessities of Prohadabadu Balu. Isavo Monsuin and Kuro Sopaya, Wolmo Log Zero Leti Jang, they understand me, Fangama Leko Soto, but he, it doesn't matter. Modos a sweep in Pulso Tanayabe. It must be pulled out, but if you are very comfortable, so the inequality katala back in the world, inequality, but the number of all of them, more la coming more la cool. The new Kanyambalia, more la Kanyambalia, Kanyambalia, Ali, Kanyambalia, all of inequality. So, Uncle Larry coming from the budget on the objective and the calamity. 
ka kanyam balia le me importanta gambia lo nyanta ka jalla moy baaki anun tol ka nyin kachal menke pour ka mul prepare election watu because ila karteo ni badi la mansa kunala anyanta sembela dalila kendole kan on kulari wo dalilo holom mansa kunna menkana ite ka pe kisin kelansito minister karte ke se klina babula la muso karte ke se klina babulu president karte ke se klina babulu ala muso karte ke se ara baro karte ke se folo man trabul folo klina babulu ko men karte ke se klina membe on kulari bul so ni wo president ni karte wato sita na ay nene ba ni resource ta wato sita itoli dalasi million tan nani serum iko ni to lu sasata ila muso lu sasata gamen o ale la moy jam ndal tar la ni ko mul sen kan nalie ndol ndol semen ke no kanim fo carte filal ale la moy adama baro ana la cabinet ministerial b ni to lu ko moy dimi wala sasa la te kan ngali ajel usman sow tata saudi arabia government local government minister bra sasata ya sama min do ni saudi arabia ma jara gamier ni fo waro lo no nata manke cabinet fona la family ye bulul kafu nyoka ya sambo ba denno no be sila gambia la ita ndem ban clinic almamo men kalifo men banta bi a nyamina kerewan alamane manin kafur kala wo tata ndem ban clinic le wo imam wo samba atul mbari nyamina nkuli mo wo samba nyi million tanano kono pour ka sam banta la baram ka jara bara bi ko ataman tra cabinet so onkul lare ka men fojam bojato me ya lon ko depasso Serum iko million tanane ni tol sasara itol be wotala barin tol banku din to malo tol we are not entitled to that bar sidike tana ta menki sai akola famu adam boro ni sidike ta ko no million tanano do yatale nyinan ako million tan woroti so woka in equality ya kole kanyam bali ya kole gena sembora ni banku kan ko me to lasoto ani to lan nafa banko to wo be kafu kan ntolu banku di ngulun to la nafa boje toto wo be jikam wala na mulu nyante la moy la kende ke so in equality nyim bojeto is widening the gap between melbe power and melmanta power so carte faila la nyanta jande la moy la ye la moy mol la nyim be diamu lay nyim manke politique kout in kana nyol ne ne so onkul la be nyim la men fola je is very very important because nte gamira kere su ban manta minyin na banko fuwalo men kam do gambia ika million tang woro ika wolandi ka fo ndol ministeru sidike ta alama madwai ba ning asasata atebe benefit lal from the 60 million ala muso ni alama tangala na asasata abe benefit lal dr amadou samata be benefit lal ibrahim sila na kukata la minister be den bari atolu banku dingol foarolu atolu nal fengira go for me le be dadala ndol dais wala be go for me dadala ni melie sotoke wala mulu sha isamba private hospital so ongolari la fita janna senen la because it's very very important pour nga ñin la senen ko wala la je fa then then the next big uh, item of concern for me mhm me me ko di min demande julo membe bankol ha our the structure of our national debt yeah uh domestic borrowing foreign borrowing when you combine them yeah constitute 25% of the budget subhanallah mm -hmm. 25% mm -hmm. now even 1% of the budget is a huge sum of money much much less 25% yeah so so we are talking something like 7 billion mm -hmm. uh 7 billion dollars is which is about 6 billion uh i mean 1 billion us dollars Mhm. So na debt structure is a concern for me. Mhm. The, the question then becomes munatina na na government ni be banko do kula e kata kodo don tole. Because mm -hmm. banko buka banko do kuran kodo do kuno anyam. Mhm. Mm Basically e ka julol menuta. Mhm. Mm e kata commercial banks. Mhm. Mm wala eta central bank mm -hmm. either way comment ta commercial bank ni ma jono central bank le ka guarantee it goes back to the central bank and it's put in the pool yeah so so na julol men benna anin ka o use nyamen is a serious concern yalon sometime ago ngapiata fanan 
uh, I think it's another platform. I said, Gambia mm-hmm. man budget discipline sort. Mm-hmm. Budget discipline moment. Iko nin kodi nangam leben tebul. Come into na bunkon. Iko mata karo kare. Iko kar hundred dollar le use la puruka kambalwa. Bari nin ka nin 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 karo tata fo til tang wala til tang nin kili. Hundred dollar nin kaban nga hundred dollar dollar ka. Til tang do fane na o fane ba nga do fane la ka. Wala mu supplementary. Supplementary. They, they stuck with the spirit and the intent of this budget mm-hmm. without going back to parliament for a supplementary budget. We should all clap for them because it's a difficult thing to do under the current circumstance. Mm-hmm. It's very difficult. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. It, that is totally, totally up to them. Mm-hmm. But the mm-hmm. figures speak for themselves. Yeah. And then <clears throat> the the other issue of concern that I have mm-hmm. is nanying asset recycling, meng ikake. Yalong yalong bamba tenda salo ya asset recycling. Mm-hmm. Iko hundred hundred million US dollars. Mm-hmm. But hani bi mo ma fonyo hundred million dollars fa jota le fa manjo andu na jota fana be kela munet. Mm-hmm. 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 Port Authority for a concessional sign with some companies in Namera, Denmark, in Turkey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ima, ima amount of for Mali. Mm-hmm. Or amount of a jola nyame mao for nam for Mali. Mm-hmm. And then recently, on the from the 16th to the from the 19th to the 1st of November, 19th October to the 1st mm-hmm. of November mm-hmm. this year, mm-hmm. they signed another. Uh, ESAF enhanced mm-hmm. uh, facility with the IMF for mm-hmm. 100 million dollars. Mm-hmm. So we need to know where these mm-hmm. monies are going. Now, mm-hmm. in the in the IMF case, to be to be to be honest uh, about it, in the IMF case, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, indicate the five areas where that 100 million should go to. Mm-hmm. And for the audience in Safway, because Nita at IMF law website to the Article 4 consultation, the Gambia, they will see this. Mm-hmm. The areas that they are supposed to spend this on mm-hmm. is to, to, to strengthen economic recovery, mm-hmm. which means post COVID 19 recovery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then the second one is to tackle inflation and insulate vulnerable groups. Mm-hmm. Tackle inflation, insulate vulnerable groups. Mm-hmm. Then the other one is address the foreign exchange pressures <laughs> the, the, mm-hmm. the economy is facing. Mm-hmm. 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 The, the, the fourth one is to reduce our debt vulnerabilities. Mm-hmm. The fifth one is advance structural reforms, meaning government should go through a structural reform of the various institutions that we have. Mm-hmm. And the last one is to foster a strong inclusive growth. Now, inclusive growth implicitly means that the inequality will be reduced, poverty yeah. reduction yeah. Would, would set in, and mm-hmm. we are back on track for growth. Mm-hmm. Then the question for me is, how many times has the government entered into these Article 4 arrangements and have been given large sums of money yeah. and we still yeah. don't feel that in, in the structure of our economy? Mm-hmm. This, mm-hmm. This, is, this is one of the areas that uh, I, I get very critical about. Mm-hmm. And I keep saying um, the, 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 the Brenton Woods institutions, IMF New World Bank, Mm-hmm. Shouldn't be just throwing money at us like that. We should be held accountable for it. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying they are not holding us accountable for it. But mm-hmm. so far, nearly ECF Stifa the Mansa Kundala to the tune of one hundred million dollars. Mm-hmm. I think you should put guardrails there to see that mm-hmm. what you have highlighted, these five, six areas that I have are actually part of uh the spending pattern of the government. Now, mm-hmm. near broadly, Bafola Lekona budget has covered all of these these things. 
But honestly, in terms mm. of achieving the desired results, does it really reflect that? Mm -hmm. Or a rhetorical question, how do we know that you are investing in these five, six areas and what are the results of those five, six areas that, that you are investing in? Okay. Uh, uh, uncle, I'll go back here because um, the audience will say that quickly now when <laughs> when people in the policy field and economists in you know, Kacha, we have to use a lot of terminologies and sometimes yes. clearly because I just go back Uncle Yantaka again terms all men for funding. Okay, well, I will try to help you a lot to try to conclude Okay, uh, Uncle Diamota is a enhanced structural adjustment facility IMF Nali Alo Wolom. I have a board your setup in 1987. 1987, they are set up. Yeah. Mainly, they are set up. They are set up. They are set up. They are low interest rate. At low interest rate. Wala, 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 So, they are set up. They are set up. They are set up. They are set up. They For long term growth, they are set up. They are set up. They are set Economic stabilization to create, um, you know, uh, this vulnerability and external shocks of the economy. Foreign exchange prices. Foreign exchange prices. Me alango foreign exchange. Me alango na foreign exchange. Am stable. Ali aje dalaso katu boila nyami. So an inequality ka ka kanyambali ya kutala bangu dingo damati man. Ning CD kita ning ala technical staff tata IMF. Ikanine fu IMF fu International Monetary Fund. Well, on your Britain World Institutions, you told me already World Bank and the IMF. So, we'll need to talk about Julio Taji. It's okay in Delhi, Lolo, for all you go. Nali and in Dinna, many in a color Gambian only coming inequality. Betalale, a president of the foreign exchange capital. Alale, the bank of economy talent. I did a cool pool. You was a key. Can you know for IMF? So, IMF finance for a ball of ten in a killer million nangam came in, but on a deal. And you know that I am a fellow website or a badge like the recent um, loan, uh, um, uh, special drawing rights, the carbon level to IMF. So, yeah. near Kuru di Gambiela, see, they get a new package or now, Kuruaya Samba, Inyanta Tamanila. But problem of Makaka damning, it will come men for Nin a bank world, I have every world bank here, Nin at a Gambia, coming to work a pseudo in Tiloleti, Mankiling. If you have a little bit of 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 <laughs> Tell him one hundred dollar do man. So he ended up spending three hundred dollars. So woman can finance, woman can budget discipline. The budget discipline, if I'm cool, he'll have to pass all the carola. Man, so kunda mo wale shoto. Wala na alka mo all the time. In the economy, so we use this word a lot. Lack of fiscal discipline. Coming, if I'm cool, he'll have to pass all. And until la actually heal from wale to uncle Larry. Yeah. The man so kunda lo when the previous government. Well, I think the during the man so kunda nata. Uncle Larry, the combined national debt, you yeah, have only 58 billion, you yeah, have mm. almost 110 billion. Billion, yes. Almost yeah, double. Mm. Because even physical discipline, so the person like Carola, Nimendia de Kawaleke, no wonder Adam Obaro recently put moratorium on travels. Executive order, I go, Tamo from saying, Namanke statutory meeting will be more than But in Ajayako, we found. It's all lip service, right? Because they are, they, they are traveling. They are traveling. Many they are all over the place. You know, mm. they are traveling in large numbers. So, well, yeah, well, for the program, Bank of the But Uncle Larry is very important. So, sorry, Uncle Larry, not a, uh, not a to the departmental allocation. Not a, if you're mm. okay. Um, you have yeah, yeah, the I'm president of the ministry, million Kemesei, million Tawara, mm. and Fulai, all the world. But it, you see the variance, the big gap. Remember, youth and sports. Now for the last program, 122 million. The only D that is from the GLF, you may allocate 
to yeah. for Ningeolo. Mm. President Wala. <laughs> Hello, officer. Yeah, President Wala, officer. Niajibe is almost seventy-two million six times. Six mm. times, you know, um, uh, uh, or, 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 or maybe six or seven times that budget. President Wala, damma. So, uncle, mm -hmm. is this fair to the Gambian youths? No, it is not. Um, well, I, think, uh, I highlighted it. Kafoko, if, if you can allocate $872 million to the uh, president's office, and a good chunk of that is for travel, mm -hmm. and you have a, a youth budget that is just $122 million, mm -hmm. uh, and when you contextualize it, Niake within the right context. And the right context is with this back way thing that we have. Mm -hmm. It's a disastrous uh, indictment of uh, our country, not just the government, our country. Because basically, Akameita and the Wolem Yintiko, Manfen Soton Simendi na funding ke wala Purisi Sabati Bangkoka. Wala tine kabula kulul kone be fala ba. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, mm -hmm. ning, ning accident men keta nita tapakao. Literally every compound sang obje. Ntenga dula flale lon tata je. I couldn't mm -hmm. hold my tears. I, I had to withdraw and come back because aboko bakao mm -hmm. beleve sunuri. Yeah. So you you need to mm -hmm. invest mm -hmm. money for these youths to stay in the mm -hmm. country. Make it attractive for them to stay. You, mm -hmm. you cannot have a situation where OP gets 800 million, youth and sports gets 122 million. And we expect that to cater to the needs of the youths, both in terms of skills training, uh, entrepreneurship, and education. So in Tefe, countries that have got the youth uh, programming right, do it. By, by making it possible for young people to go to school. One, two, by making it possible for young people to have skills. And three, by making it possible for young people to get into business. And to get into business, when getting into school, getting skills, it requires money, which they don't have. So the government has to invest mm -hmm. sizable mm -hmm. chunks of money mm -hmm. to make sure that these things are available. Mm -hmm. It's one thing, Nimman Sakundai, mm -hmm. okay, Funding ke olu manta, but it's another thing. Ibuka ke friend, ibe funding ke olu jala eladla dolto. Kafafo ko imalafi do ko la dunte jana pote jana. So far, we cannot say that for the youth because man opportunity dealer to tell us or to show us that they can get skills, they can get educated, that they can get into good profitable businesses using seed money from the government. Ma also. Mm -hmm. um, now, uncle, uh, uh, NPP in Gambia, because I'm not mm -hmm. clear, I, uh, I, like, I, I can easily conclude that NPP in Colomati. Um, but I take a look at the NPP in Gambia, I'm going to jump for Banta Balak. I got to wonder about money. So, mm -hmm. a call, mm -hmm. see who said it and Uncle Larry at it again, typical. They always criticize whatever the government comes up with. I'm monitoring the conversation, but what Uncle Larry is com complaining about the 872, I think you guys should be telling us, if UDP government comes into power, how much will you allocate to President Loya Dabo and his office? Because you keep complaining about the allocations to the president's office, but I bet if UDP government comes to power, the same thing will happen because even when Jamais time, present office used to be allocated with a lot of money. I hope I will get a, 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 a good reply. He knows, he's, he knows he's raising a bogus issue. <laughs> it's a bogus issue. Now, Kafoko, ni UDP, not a government, how much we are going to... That is, that, we cannot determine that outside of government. Yeah. When we come into government, that's when we decide what our priorities are. Yeah. It's a question of priority funding, and he should know that. Yeah. 
the local government criticized because there is a need to criticize. Mm. The Fem Fem for is based on fact. Yeah. And that the men for Nanka for getting Sehu and Larry are at it again. That's all he can say because he has lost the debate. Yeah. Now, when they lose the debate, they go and attack you personally. Mm -hmm. He has lost the debate. Now, mm -hmm. now left alone the UDP be menkel. I'll cut off the UDP. I'm not going to be But, 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 but uncle, okay. let me tell you one thing. Um, budget discipline will be will form a cornerstone of UDP government because we cannot afford to do anything um, apart from having discipline. And, and and one typical example, I think one time I interviewed lawyer Dabo. He made a statement and said, "Not the president yala." He made a statement and he even said he doesn't need this hundred and fifty thousand dollars per day. Because I can domoro men can be pipeline um ala suokono. Ako ikadio men as the person. So yes, Ila answer is 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 the best way to can response because we are not in government yet. Um if if Gambians want to know, he'll have the UDP la fate or download now. Let them just give the, the you know, hand over the country to UDP, or vote UDP government into power and see. In fact, five years then they will be able to assess whether UDP is different from N NPP or whatever. But five years, but, yeah, no? two years, Seku, two yeah. years. Yeah. Two years. In two years, they will be able to see the difference between the two. Because exactly. Yes, he's a partisan, I, and I respect his mm. choice to be NPP. But mm. he has to also look at the facts around his position. Mm -hmm. And the facts are, covering Adam Obaro Nata, yala salary increase. Exactly. Yala salary increase. Mm -hmm. Then ye clothing allowance kije. Imurta kote ke depanso kije. So why why are we doing all that for the president? Because all over the world, the president is supposed to feed himself. Mm -hmm. We are not supposed to feed him. But ala feed him yeah. for they calculate it and put it as part of his personal emolument. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nowhere in the world would you see a president getting $150,000 a day per day. Mm -hmm. It's outrageous. You get, you, you get a clothing allowance on that old. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. America may iba, iba, iba in Qatar as an example of a good democratic system. When, when, when you come into the White, White House as president, you pay rent for being in the White House. Yeah. Moja man hole, eka lo aso jol. And if I'm like if I'm fit, not for koe ye official function so to the protocol people will organize that the state pays for that. But ila feeding, ila kuloti, we mu tell that. Anya da gela wale jana. Yeah, silam be okay la nilka from wale ni UDP na tete ni UDP na tete until tete nonsense okay la. Mhm. Because because uncle, me la kuma kundo. I have to be fair to you. So at some point, I'm going to open the lines for people to ask some questions, but allow us to have a discussion first. Uncle, um, you take a mirror, you take a mirror. You can press the mojo in Kodibala, Dali Loli, Gambia president, because Munana, Abu Gadda Pasi Bondi. I've got clothing, I've got a fit of a sassam, I've got a ticket or some, I've got a telephone or joke. Nice, a nice, a book of Kuran sang, a book of Kuran sang, a book of telephone joke. Uncle, love it a Gambian woman found in Inca, Adam Aboro Lani, salary, Burputo, and one day, Uncle Larry, Nambula, Adamala, which slip or cane. A copy Nadele, a minister Tadele. Yeah. The one I saw last year, just before the election. Yeah. Ala salary even ten to do a bank account. The, the ala salary slip of five hundred thousand dollars is net. Dollars, yes, a month. A month. Mm -hmm. You only transfer account. Wuli keme lulu. Wuli mm -hmm. keme lulu may be complain nala. NPP people be complain nala. Pro ka alaji bora. Anu court leko alaji bora nyanta compensate la wala. Wo mu court decision leti. Yeah, yeah. La nyanta leti nyanta. NPP people kili na ni momo momi la mo ino boli be complain na. Iko na wuli keme lulu be But Adam ay tol malongo. Adam akari go kari. So, love it. I'm you the love you in because I've got the nigga mojo minister like a German to be fair. I can't pass over the world. Director like a German, I can't pass over the world. But the president, I've got tax due. Uncle, I've got tax due. It's tax free. 
I've got tax bill. Yeah, we are not spoiling our leaders, Uncle Lang. Are we not spoiling these people? Nko, wala tin na mobe kalafi dun na politiko kono because they see it as a money making machine. Yeah. Politiko manke ko ye, ye conviction soto, ye, ye agenda soto, ye plan or soto to help the poor and the mm -hmm. powerless mm -hmm. and the voiceless. Molka mm -hmm. politiko jele dronko is an opportunity to make money, to, to, to improve your life beyond what it is. Mm -hmm. And that is the mindset that we need to change. Mm -hmm. the, Mm -hmm. Gambians need to start thinking. Ko, yes, namu president nyanta jola le adequately. Mm -hmm. That adequacy has to also spill over to ala daninim, ala feto fato. But ibuka tax jo, ibuka efan daninim, ibuka efan feto fato, ibuka kurango jo, ibuka geo jo, ibuka telephone jo. Obey five hundred thousand dollars is a month. You want to love like a president? No, yeah, yeah, ma. The uncle are doing madness, lady. The nigga Gambia from Oji, nigga Kumo Dol from Oji. If you move Jola, will you come to Lola? Carry you carry. Abu Kafen, Niba Jola, will you come to Lola? If I go from the pass of Bondi, if I go to Lua Sojo, come in State Department, Benjamin, you pay for your rent. If you learn maintenance, jump. Nila Molu Sasata. If I go to Jara, that's why we paid you this money. But in Dolonga, more muta ngani in Kolo Dilango, you go free of charge. What are you now? Ni mo mo si the president yala bukala fika boje. Exactly. Because it's a comfortable dollar diata. Jumala tela fila ye five hundred thousand soro. Ndol ben doku wala jam. Lamo yela alme mbe benji bala jebe tuba budu. Ike jo menna. Ika wole te pasi. And ndol la doku jam. Jan tuba budu jam doku jam apre peje. It is based on productivity. Ibuka mo employee yeta la shiring. They monitor your performance. You have to deliver. Yeah. It is a lay jola karu wakari be kono dilala. Weekly, dolbije, monthly, they will do assessment. Dolbije, they will assess ila performance. Ni man pafsa be kumandi la meeting wala. Ila productivity be jikane. Ibuka kuro dilala kese. But Adam Awaro, every five years, le nkate, nkala performance gauge wala through election. Yeah. And wala election wala fano, voters wala wala fano wala mono Adam Awaro la. What the requirements of Adam It's not performance based. It's not performance based. Ya wanasane. Is normally is based on sentiments and the other car, the other car. So Adam again, that's why Adam go. I got twenty thirty. I'll also put a solo go. I better never twenty. But anyway, let's not digress, uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back that to is that is him thinking. But if any listener, any other alone, na leko, nito ni anata alingafu, irrespective of the partisanship that is involved. Ni ni misalife UDP government nata. Any policy continue. I'll be the first to. Be vocally against them. I would, I would as well. I would because I would, I would because strongly. It is condemn. unfair. It is yeah. unjust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. let him let him understand that some of us are not criti critical because mm -hmm. we want to be critical. Mm -hmm. Some of us are critical because we are seeing the country bearing in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's off the rails. Mm -hmm. microeconomic fundamentals men ke be for killing tj me alonko it has been satisfactorily reflected in this project mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nunto it have minister of finance or to men you mm -hmm. hear things like terms of trade balance of payment yeah 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 do you, do you yeah. hear them say those things now no they don't they don't no, even because mention because they are totally off track yeah yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so alinga 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 agriko Mm. Irrespective of political affiliation, mm -hmm. we need to bring the country back on track because it is not on track. Yeah. If we agree with that, we mm -hmm. can shake hands. Ni NPP kung call pareta eta e buloko si la president because atela mula president. Ni NPP kung call fanam pareta eta e president e buloko si la party leader because atela mula party leader. But the common denominator has to be the process we are on now, and that is, we have a budget. That is based on deficit financing and borrowing. Uncle, your name is the department budget. And you know domestic borrowing, for borrowing. The um, economy is pretty much... You uh, remember finance, I don't know how it came to me. Uncle, bank is developer wholly and squarely relying on borrowing debt uh, i said this one time 
uh, when America, you know about the Marshall Plan of Action, when yeah. America offered to help Europe post Second mm -hmm. World War after Europe like infrastructure to, 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 to rebuild mm -hmm. to rebuild the infrastructure, but it was a one off, and Europeans made good use of it. But in Tolu, Cabaret 19, Ho Ha Ho, Uncle, Medjulotal IMF, World Bank, Saudi Fund, Kuwaiti Fund, uh, Africa Development Bank. The, you can list these things on and on and on. I am Bondi Mintole, Uncle. I am Bondi Mintole. And these two finance ministers, Mam Burenjai, Sidi Keita, Union Dollar Economy Mutalaya, Fire Body. Uncle, that's okay. my description. Because you know, Fulu, you know, they, they are going on spending spree. Julo Tarek, Julo Tarek, Julo Tarek. Look, how can you, how can you explain between how many years your debt increased to 110 billion, Uncle? So, new domestic borrowing. Abentol Torakane, in fact, is having one of the negative effects on our economic fundamentals, macroeconomic fundamentals, interest rates. Yeah. Interest rates, will be taken. And the interest rates will uncle Nabi Takan. It has bearing on exchange rate and also prices of commodities. What are the need of the world complain the price rises? Yeah. You know, uh, price inflation is skyrocketing. And Sidiqueta is doesn't even coming up with anything you need to fight against this to mitigate the impact of this on, on, on an average consumer. So uncle, it is a money yamada dealer Adam Barola Mansa Kundala in terms of new Juluta make marketing. Should they not put 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 their uh, uh, break on this in terms of new constantly a Is it sustainable? They, they, they needed to put the brakes on these things three years ago. Mm -hmm. Because it's a accumulation of borrowing every year. Yeah. Well, in Nepal, the, the, the borrowing pattern now stands at about 110 billion Gambian dollars. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, almost 50% or more of that has been contracted in this government. Yes. So they, nobody should tell them that it's time to get into debt rescheduling. Mm -hmm. negotiate a rescheduling of the debts, mm -hmm. negotiate a reduction in the interest rates, mm -hmm. but more importantly, mm -hmm. have the central bank transition to a more advisory role mm -hmm. and stop overheating the dollar Because the more money they print, mm -hmm. you know, I know, the more money yeah. they print, the more overheated mm -hmm. the dollar is. And the more overheated the dollar mm -hmm. is, that translates into inflation. Well, well Manke's central bank mm -hmm. duty, they should provide advisory services and they should guarantee government loans where there is mm -hmm. a need for it. But as it is now, mm -hmm. if the finance minister needs more money, he goes to the governor and the governor prints the mm -hmm. money and gives it to him. Mm -hmm. That is how the Dallas mm -hmm. is overheated and that is how the pressure is on our foreign exchange. Mm -hmm. I'm a flower second phone call, Kafoko. To, to 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 reduce the pressure on the on the on the forex regime this is what they are talking about if you unpack it they are basically saying the central bank should stop printing money because when you print money you are overheating the dollar when mm -hmm. the dollar overheats you are actually fanning mm -hmm. inflation no economy grows mm -hmm. with those conditions mm -hmm. Now, interest rates. Mm -hmm. A lot of countries, a lot of countries have increased the interest rate, including America and the UK, and, and mm -hmm. some of the mm -hmm. EU countries. A lot of countries mm -hmm. have raised their interest rates to slow the economy and to control inflation. It's, a, it's a standard yeah. practice. It's a tool, it's a, it's, a, it's a monetary policy tool. It's used a monetary to... policy tool. But we know it is yeah. not working. Mm -hmm. Because they haven't been able to control inflation in any of these countries. In fact, inflation mm -hmm. is galloping in all of them. So rather yeah. than raise the interest rates, now lower the, uh, uh, lower the interest rates. Don't raise them, mm -hmm. lower them. If you lower them, it feeds into the supply and demand of pro, uh, factors of production. And you have an economy that can produce the things that it will use, and then growth happens. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. need to reverse 
the policy metrics from raising interest rates to lowering interest rates and most of the countries haven't figured that out yet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now yalla, 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 um uncle um don't economies all uh yalla, the, the, the the thing with the economy how to manage it uh, abenyaming economy sometimes you know social science and in physical science in killing uh economics mm -hmm. is an aspect of social science um so dealing with human beings sometimes it's very unpredictable because the economy is all that thinking there you increase the interest rates you encourage people to save more in the banks yeah. because you are giving spending. if for example if alima has alima i am going to interest rates on capital like okay but in that bank i will earn more money on this the interest rate so it's a monetary policy tool Prato central banks on interest rates on government now Try to control the money supply side of it in terms of demand height about it. A lot of they want to learn about you know, these big countries like United, great powerful countries like United Kingdom, Germany, United States. Sometimes they will come up and increase. In UK, we I think the, the Bank of England increased the interest rate many times in yes. some of them. They came up with honey, the, the inflation rate is still exactly they still they're still struggling, but it was saying, they yeah. were, that's that's a good point. I'm saying when you look at global data, yeah. You realize that countries that actually raise interest rates to lower inflation are achieving the opposite of that. Yeah, it's but but but, but we are on the other point, um, mm -hmm. To some extent, Jamfong, it may not have a desirable impact on the overall economy, but I can see the Itola logic here. They want to control the money supply in the economy. Yeah. Like Gambia, where the economy from money, mula, new lot policy from Kolbongo Bokatanya, because Gambia government la. The interest rate increment in Gambia is it is as a result of the bad policies of the government. Young, it is the Bank of England who would deliberate policy to come and increase the interest rates and is targeting money supply in Kakob to supply the money supply, and they think that that will control inflation. But Gambia is not based on that. Gambia is because of a policy Kurumolu, which is having effect on the exchange rate. Because Gambia and Tolmata affect export can our, our export volume is very low. Mm. We we rely on re-export trade principally. Re-export. Dollar re-export volume left almost than the traditional exports. So basically, in Dolta is not policy driven. Love it more generally understand between the Western countries and Gambia. Gambia is not based on policy driven measure. It's because of the bad policies of the government. That's why in, uh, interest rates is skyrocketing. Gam UK and when they when they when they Federal Reserve in the United States, uh, the, the chairman of the board of Fed in the United States will come up and increase. The, after their meeting, they will increase the interest rates, thinking that strategically that is going to address the, the money supply side it's of okay. issues. Yeah, I understand. The U.S. economy mm -hmm. that tackle. But sometimes these things are counterproductive, like you said, because it can only men come and men can Because you're killing uncle. Yeah, I understand. But, but, but the, other, the other issue also is that Gambia's inflation, Malum Fomoli in England, Gambia's mm -hmm. inflation is 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 um, is driven by low supply. Yeah, there is low supply of everything, and that mm -hmm. low supply means that product production costs are high. And yeah. when production costs are high, they depress the supply side of the economy. That is the cost push cost push inflation. Yellow yes. yellow inflation has two. You have demand pool inflation, cost mm, push inflation. Cost pool inflation. Cost cost. Yeah, and don't have a cost push level because the factors of production, mm. the cost side of it, nimbles and this whole darker for that. Let, let me try to break this down for the layman to understand because you know, New York industry shuttle, okay, a money um industry be able to, okay, um let's say a soap manufacturing plant be able to Gambia, Ila labor supply, Ila Marsand and this whole you know cost let it may along it like a will depart. Okay, Uncle Kadami explained. Nimolu Seleta, you economy, you know, a businessman will always pass the burden to the consumer on uncle. They always pass, they, they don't run at a business at a loss. They always have to pass it a lot cost economic so that you can price or whatever price will sell it. So this is the cost boost inflation Gambia yeah. type of uncle got diamond for because Ndulu largely in the raw material uncle is all imported, isn't it? Yeah. It's, <laughs> a bigger important. <laughs> Kurangovanan Kurang is excessive. Your your friends at Navek, you know. Now, you know, so a business is to survive in Gambia, you have to get your own generator, standby generator. Okay, you cannot lie on now. Okay, so for a generator, so and the cost of maintaining that generator is passed to you and I, the Itibankara Marcel, the Cassandra, okay, because the businessman or generator, some 
a code general to maintain men it have war it is sandy la it like a joe so this is why it's so difficult in in the gambia but uncle now let's let's but a president's office president's office namira and said the amulet jam for janine sama i don't think it will get into adam baro's head <laughs> he doesn't need 872. And in fact, Adam and Adam Damala, next time the budget will go to 1 billion. He may even request 1 billion. You understand it. So, Molio Wuri Kanyana Adam have cut the budget. But I'm so disappointed with the likes of Sidicator. You know, I, I, Ninga Sidicator Lakumovo, some people may think it's personal. It's not personal because Sidicator Manyana Adam Abaro Jibela, Uncle. Sidicator Nyana Bankola Nafala Jibela. Sidi keta ka karantale. Sidi keta ka tata university le. Ongol man, maybe <laughs> dede involve la jan. This is my own. But nga sidi keta la TV jela, ongol lai. Sidi keta la TV jela. Oh, nde nga la TV jela. Nde nga la TV jela. Ongol, nye sidi keta la sidi keta la TV jela. E se ta afo, nibe sere konda, e se ta afo bundung. <laughs> Modo wala TV karana ma bang. Nye TV Certificate buru to all the CD Ketabu. I cause all men keep a book about content and every CD Ketala CV didn't go. For CD Ketala life make a caramel to them because CD Ketala qualification all the CD Ketabu. But uncle, at the end of the day, what is the point in CD Keta amassing all these qualifications when CD Keta right now he has this golden opportunity to to be bold enough to gamble economy transform because of selfishness and in personal interest and the fact that he wants to remain finance minister at all costs of Prince Adam Abaro. So Sidi Keta Lanyi certificate Buru to all uncle. I I nte buka na faje because ni karanta. I karanta keta londi to go uncle Larry. Ni uncle Larry mu gambela finance minister to be. President lawyer Dabo na rakai ko ni 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 uncle Larry be sila la fai ko Mr. President ni nte bang ni me bang ko tinyala. Olong karamo na faji. Well, I think they get an economic finance and economy minister. It is not Adam Abaro Malo Munu finance the Malo Munu Adam Abaro economy Tamanyaro. So she did get a legend to see that I told you for Adam Abaro and Adam Abaro by Laya by. But this is not happening, and she did get is going to be remembered as a very terrible finance minister, uncle, because all these expansionary uh, budgets, may I long they are very expansionary. Femol bed expenses of the Kafala, the Kafala. He'll be, he'll be on the wrong side of history. But what, what Uncle Larry, it, you work in government, you've been Secretary General before. Monica, can you have problem with the Procatonia for President Wally? It's a zero. Why are they so? Well, well, I say, Kumalo, Kumalo, Mune Mula problem with. Um, but I will say this um, mm -hmm. anybody who is a strong professional, yeah, you want to make sure that you leave a bunch of legacies behind you, wherever you are. Mm -hmm. And you want these legacies to be positive legacy. Mm -hmm. Now, those who sit in front of a president mm -hmm. and not advise him appropriately, normally do not leave a whole lot of strong legacies behind. Yeah. Those who tell the president, those those are the ones that tend to have the legacies that we are talking about. Mm. That's one. Mm. Two, mm. the mm. president himself needs to think about his legacy. Mm -hmm. What kind of legacy or legacies he's going to leave behind mm -hmm. when he leaves the office. Mm. If the president cannot buy for a legacy that he could be remembered with until posterity, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. what is the point in mm -hmm. being president? Mm -hmm. So whether you are qualified, you are not qualified, educated, you are not educated, the bottom line is the kind of advice you give to people in power. And whether or not they will use that advice, and if they don't use it, what do you do? Do you continue giving advice that is not being used, and you keep mm -hmm. going on and on and on? Just mm -hmm. if I, I would have resigned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So legacy matters, and I don't think our people understand that legacies matter. They mm -hmm. say from time to time. Mm -hmm. I I get the uh, Janet Commission report, report. Uh, go, government white paper, white paper. Ila report mm -hmm. and in the government white paper, mm -hmm. and in uh, uh, um, volume three of the report, mm -hmm. 
which mm. contains all the assets and those things. Nkasile ngamirango, you know, Gambians, we tend to have very short memories. Yeah. Uh, because you look at us some years back, mm-hmm. and we are in, falling into the same patterns again. Mm-hmm. The same bad governance advice, the same actions that led to people being sanctioned and banned are the same things that we are we are we are reverting back to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then I, I I look at the the, the TRRC report again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and paragraph 38 of that report is very clear about the role of the police, the army, and their their role to safeguard the sanctity of our republic as mm-hmm. well as to guarantee the rights of citizens. Mm-hmm. What do we have? We have people mm-hmm. who, who go mm-hmm. So we forget these things, but it's all part of what you want to build as your legacy. I am very mm-hmm. particular about what I leave behind. Yeah. If, yeah. if 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 I am going to be in a position, I come mm-hmm. clean, and when I leave, I I leave clean. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't want to leave a situation where it's Afoko, eh, Larile Ninke when he was here. Nin ningu leo mwe ye nyin kadari itaka kenya dile mbe jabila munel. Ite jabi nola. So let's let's work for legacies. Because if you work for legacies, you will do the right thing. And mm-hmm. and you will do the right things because you are concerned about what you're going to live by. But if you don't have any affinity in terms of thinking about your legacy, what you leave behind, that's when you go and do things that are bad for you, bad mm-hmm. for your boss, mm-hmm. bad for mm-hmm. the country. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, you got that spot on, on. It's all, but, but, but for you still have buy role for another one, like they're afraid to, to be fired. For you still have Because Muka, I cannot understand CD Keta, how he would justify ka Adam Abarola made the people's tour. Me alone go deep it all for more, even 10 million on a man, even approved zero more complaint. You come out and increase that outrageously. Yeah. That is, that is, how can you increase that from 10 million to 30 million? See, you get a many explain on a Gambian or in your deal. How can you explain this? No, but you know, uh, IMF, uh, I mean, one of IMF's um, uh, things uh, in this last round of ISAF. Mm-hmm. Is to to implore the government to try to block the leakages in the in the budget. Mm-hmm. Now those leakages that's a that's a fancy word for corruption. Mm-hmm. Now, if if you want to stop the leakages, that mm-hmm. particular increment mm-hmm. is something that does not have to happen. Mm-hmm. But it, mm-hmm. it shouldn't happen if you are serious mm-hmm. about stopping certain things. Mm-hmm. You don't just go and increase everything the government asks, the, the president asks for. You question some of them. Mm-hmm. Another thing, you can increment them for. There is another increment that people are very silent about. Mm-hmm. And that is uh, um, this, this business of uh, expenditures on personal emoluments. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Now, expenditures on personal emoluments they will be increasing from 6.7 billion in 2023 to 7.43 billion in 2024. And the rationale Mm -hmm. for that is because of unplanned recruitment. Mm -hmm. Now, what are those unplanned recruitment? One of the questions you have to ask is, is he trying to cater for the money to appoint these executive coordinators? Mm-hmm. And how much is that going to cost? Us? Now, for a small economy, small country like the Gambia, Nico Eko, mm-hmm. our our personal emoluments <laughs> are, are somewhere around seven point three billion dollars, which mm-hmm. is over one billion Gamb- yeah. uh, US dollars. Mm-hmm. You you have to scratch your head and see. Well, okay, where is all this money going? Yeah. Seven billion is not chicken feed, though. Mm-hmm. Seven billion is literally one billion US dollars. If we, that is almost we, the size of our size of yeah, our debt. Yeah. Our debt, yes. If, our debt, if, annual debt. Isn't it? Yes. Yeah. If 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 
one billion dollars is can be spent on personnel, mm -hmm. and we still create continue creating new positions and paying mm -hmm. new new people large sums of money. Mm -hmm. Who is going to believe that we are serious with development? Uncle Ntolu, it requires um, we 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 need um, a strong leader. Ningo strong leader, mafu mo mimi tajirenta yala. Strong in terms of decision making, to make right decision. Puka decision kenota. Gambia always Gambia bondila. Ning nothing else to tem bondila because uncle it saddens me that the same system kabiria jema la time. Adam borola ni masikunda they are using the same thing. Ni budget ojibe. Compare this to Mambur and Jala budget or uncle. What's the difference? When difference level tema is like copy and paste. They go you can see finance level. They plug in figures, copy and paste because they are lazy. They don't want to come out with any initiatives. You can see like maybe they have these templates in their computers. Okay, it's time for a budget or there. They just plug in figures there because I see that you're not analyzing it. Analyzing it, Mambur and Jala budget or GB from 2015 onwards. That's where the story lies. <laughs> exactly. Mona, mona, mona. Fatter than young. See the capital and now finance. I'm not following. Anyway, um, uncle, don't let me in program or GB. Can I question all you think? I go see who I text. Nang I go you see who very interesting conversation. Uh, between you and Uncle Larry, I admire him a lot, particularly whenever he goes to the coffee show. He, he's a man with great wisdom. But can you too explain to me? I'm not an economist, but can you explain the what the terminologies of macroeconomy and microeconomy? Because I hear a lot of economists use these terminologies. To us laymen and average Gambian, we don't understand what macroeconomy means. And I hear mm -hmm. a lot of finance e people when they talk, they use macroeconomy fundamentals. Why don't you guys translate this to the local man so that they can understand what <laughs> macroeconomic means? Because you are trying to convince us, you are trying to explain things to us, but you are using a lot of terminologies that most listeners, I bet most of you listening to your program don't understand these things. Thank you. Okay, um, thank you to this listener, Mimbe Gambia. Uh, I meant for Tony Alo Uncle. Ako, He's right. Um, economies, we play with a lot of jargons and we then atemalo mo macroeconomics and microeconomics so after prunga je fatam vanzai ni memba yala nyu min golo yala do la lol lol ah but but he's he's he or she is got a point yeah he's got a point niaje niaje from the times of the classical economists mm -hmm. to the keynesians niaje ka foko macroeconomy that is the overall economy. Overall, yeah. Overall. Every yeah. sector of the economy is the macroeconomy. Microeconomy is sectoral. Agriculture mm -hmm. is a microeconomy. Mm -hmm. um, health and stuff. All of those sectors constitute the macroeconomic side of the equation. Yeah. That's the simplest way in this half for no Yeah. Yeah, no, yellow, yellow. As the name implies, Uncle, macro is big, micro yeah. is small. So, when you go for them, when they are not micro, all on demanding what? Macro, all on macro is macro. All on what amount? The economy is all called macro economic fundamentals. What we are referring to is the aggregate, the whole, mm. the aggregate, you know, the of the economy, the general. Every, the economy, every like, sector of the economy are, constitute the macro. Yeah, yeah. None of the productivity mm. la. Productivity, mm -hmm. um, production, productivity frontier. Alka economists will use what is macro, okay? Yeah. Uh, Nana inflation ola is macro. These are mm -hmm. these issues may along. But none other like sectoral individual decision making. Like when you go to the to 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 a company, a farm, a business farm, ala individual decisions. Those are micro. They are not macro yeah. because it has to do yeah. with individual decision making. So purunga jesenale. So what most of the economists focus on the macro. Not the micro because okay, micro will have an impact on the macro because it's the micro that constitute the macro. Yeah. But most of the time the economists will focus on the macroeconomic fundamentals because we call the aggregate. So I I think I think the listener in Gambia, this is the way I can explain it. I unfortunately my mandinka is not as good as others, but I can definitely break it down. Because these these terminologies, Mandinkas have no 
description for them. <laughs> we have no uh, word for them. <laughs> yeah, well, and well, and and then the macro and covering the overall economy. Yeah, is that for micro? I say sector. Yeah. Factories. Yeah. Uh, like agriculture, health. Yeah. Or the manufacturing sector, the trade sector. Those are micro issues. Yeah. That, that's the best yeah. way in terms of explaining on your and the explanation of Mendy, I think it's the yeah, I think I think, I think the gentleman will, will understand. Um at mm. the healthless sector, I think I'm on to finance. Yeah, but his his sector is micro. Micro, those are the micro micro. So 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 uncle, um Sai Nintada, which other departmental or allocations actually caught your attention, but you don't know because I know you some sports a very small amount. And uncle, I know the Gambia funding goal, I know the current whether this government takes them seriously. Why this government keeps giving such low amount of budgetary allocation to youth and sports all the time, uncle? Do you understand why? It's okay, no, I understand. Well, I'm not from the onset. I said it's a question of priorities for the government. Mm -hmm. The the amount of money you put in a sector yeah. tells a volume about what you think the priority for is for that sector. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, in ka, in ka president's office la allocation la compare with youth and sports. Mm -hmm. But agriculture has a chunk, large chunk, I think over one billion. No, 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 they gave agriculture. Okay, if you add the if you add the development budget trade, but yes, from yes. the GLF, they only gave 100, 844. Yes, but, but they always ask this um uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, when it's when you put them together, you 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 be fair to them and say this is what they put in there. Whether or not mm. they will achieve the sector's objectives with that, it's, it's mm. a totally different ballgame. The mm. other thing that caught my my attention mm. is the amount of money that that has been allocated to infrastructure. <laughs> Privacy <laughs> dollar ministry. <laughs> it's a lot of money. But no brother, uh, Ongol, what are no brother mm -hmm. Do you do you know that he recently they bought a brand new vehicle for him, Ibrahimazila? Well, just last month, last month, Motokuta could have pulled your lesson. He he mm -hmm. he got about two billion plus in this from his budget, huh? huh? Yeah. So so but but the the point to be made is that I think we need to reprioritize our spending patterns. Mm -hmm. Actually, this COVID-19, mm -hmm. if we don't learn from it, we are doomed. Mm -hmm. Because I think when you look at how pandemics and um, epidemics are coming out, mm -hmm. you realize that any country that is not pandemic, epidemic prepared, is not going to make it. Mm -hmm. So Ninko Ngamfam prioritized along mm -hmm. those lines. Mm -hmm. I think food production, yeah. our healthcare sector, mm -hmm. our that education, mm -hmm. those should be key priorities for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. infrastructure is half a year. We need, we need good infrastructure, good roads, and all what have you. Mm -hmm. But we don't have a good history mm -hmm. of giving money to companies to build first-class roads for us. Mm -hmm. Most of these roads that are built by these contractors are substandard. Mm -hmm. and, and people tell the president this, you know, what does that tell us? It tells mm -hmm. us people are opportunistically, and I don't blame them, they are opportunistically getting themselves rich mm -hmm. by setting up companies that build substandard roads. Yeah. Because there is no consequence management for uh, building those substandard roads. If there is a consequence management for them, people will build good roads. Mm -hmm. So infrastructure for me is a is another big expenditure item. Uh, whether it is justified or not justified, I will leave the voters to decide that. But suffice it to say, Study after study after study on infrastructure have shown that every cycle of an infrastructure project is susceptible to leakages. So if you yeah. put this amount of money in your infrastructure budget, 
put guardrails there to make sure that the leakages are blocked. One, two, make sure that the specifications for those infrastructures that you are paying for are met. And yeah. the way to do that is to appoint supervising engineers who are qualified to tell you your contractor is not compliant. Mm -hmm. If we cannot have that, then you know, it's 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 a waste of money. Uh, Uncle, yeah, 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 that means for Jay Kumar at the back of the bar. Um, uh, Majasana, I mean, a question or two. Majasana, a question or I will come to that from the the answer, Uncle. But, um, there is another, um, the idea of uniformity or maybe similarity between. Um, Yaya Jamila Mansakundala approach and Adam Borola Mansakunda in terms of a budget allocation to the Ministry mm -hmm. of Works. Yaya Jamila Yaya Jamila time. Yaya Jamila would even give four billion to Ministry of Works because Yaya Jamila was so preoccupied with infrastructure development. Nasilo Ludoku, Nafenga, because he used the, he used to use it as a campaign tool. Because Yaya yeah. Yaya uh, Uncle Ndol Gambia, he, the problems are so complex because every Gambian on Nene country for is so easy. In the Gambian on uh, man, second day, it's a slow deadline. But it's a, it's a, it's a departure from a pro. Even the more local men, you struggle. Currently, the blue, ni la mulu sasa, you struggle. You go to the hospitals, no medication, nothing. Borrow on the body. Ni present matter, I structural or generic. Yeah, blue because I raw, 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 raw. Caribbean. So, I jam on. I need a long jam on the mentality. The court, the government. You might have been at your law. You blue because I. Yeah, I need for structural men law. You go to Banjul, how many coral they struggle? They look at the condition of their homes, in fact. So I think the similarity here is, I think they are trying to copy that. Well, they're giving a lot of money to infrastructure. Because even Adam Boro, they have to pay for the money for Sila Dera Mansa. Adam Boro, they have to pay Sila Dera Mansa. So, Adam Boro likes I infrastructure law, I see law, and now he is using this OIC. Kafu mo leka mendo kuwala, imenye silo mendo kuwala. So, but uncle, I don't understand why infra works and communication will have the lion's share of the budget at the expense of key sectors like youth and sports, agriculture. How can you reconcile this? How can you imenye reconcile ano nyadi le consistently? They could, yeah, yeah, during years time, mm -hmm. uh, infrastructure budgeting mm -hmm. is used as domordula. That's what it was used because all you have to do is to look at the Jana Commission report mm -hmm. and look at how money, government money is spent. And you realize that these people just allocate resources where they can easily get the resource back for themselves. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that's what Baro is doing or not doing, mm -hmm. but Natra Koyala system, you only adopt. That mm -hmm. was the rationale behind the IR system. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, uh, Maja Sanya, your question on Yilin Kajama. Uh, say who I am sure you two can help me here. I am bothered with the way our country paid our government officials per diem allowances. Is there a possibility to restructure this? Why are we paying in pounds sterling? I think the answer is pretty simple. Yeah. Why are we paying in pounds sterling? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The dollar is not uh, international tender, isn't it? Uh, when people travel, it's not combined. Yeah, yeah, you know, you cannot go outside and spend dollars. So you have to put it in either dollars or pound. And traditionally, because we are colonized by the British. We use the pound sterling. So because this per diem is used, um, hotel or So we need dollars or ground transportation. Ground transportation. transportation or ha. need dollars or no. Maja need dollars or but outside the jurisdiction of Gambia. So you have to convert it in the currency. My language is international. It's convertible. Is used, yes. Convertible. So I think that is a simple answer to that question. Okay, man. Anyway, Dole Kajako, Mamma Murusavala interview with King FM, but Dole Kajako Murusavali was quoted full of praises for the budget estimates. Okay, Malon Sabali, but 
Nyt on ollut analysis is different. I, I have to listen to what somebody said. Kala Jakub Kasana. Um, so I know one thing that most of us here are not in support of the budget. Like uh, I listened to break it down. Moha, she said, did a good analysis of the budget. I was yes. in agreement with us. But I have to listen contextually what Shabali say, said in his video, if uh, audio, Kara Yakub. I don't want to comment on something that I haven't listened to. So, uh, but, uh, but, so but even let's say Shabali, Shabali is full of praises for the for the budget. Uh, the fact that Shabali is in UDP is immaterial. Shabali yeah. is a thinking person. He, he yeah, thinking yeah he's a, he has a lot of his personal yeah, assessment. This is of, his opinion, of, of, and we opinion. should respect that opinion. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, this is our opinion, and they should respect that too. But yeah. the, the numbers don't. The numbers tell a different story. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, well, well. In fact, what I don't understand is um, the last year budget. I know Sabali was very critical of the last year budget, all right, yep. because I listened to his opinion. But what has changed in this budget that made him give? It? But I, I, like I said, Karayaku is the one who commented this. Acquire for Kimia family, but I have to listen to exactly what he said contextually. So Abali Jamala, he's very careful with his words. So I have to listen to what aspect of the budget that he praised on in terms of what like Uncle Larry said, in told for member UDP, we can see things differently. Yeah. yeah. Uh it doesn't matter in particular that we all have to. And it, it shows the democratic nature of United Democratic Party. We can't all see things from different angles and different perspectives. So um, maybe if Saval is listening, he can he can he can call in and clarify um, uh, because one person there could jump on King FM. But I will listen to his audio. But personally, I I am not in agreement with this budget. I don't think it is a budget that to me will spur growth, economic growth, real economic growth, by all of them, phenomenal growth. So Uncle saying that a department or Maliki is there any department that you have because justice for them, the allocation to the Ministry of Justice is very, very small. Allocation of but what about the allocation to the National Assembly? 478 million. <laughs> well, uh, Uncle, that's a very interesting dynamics because is um Nalo Niko Iko Nana to Justice Law, the the Independent Electoral Commission. I think the National Assembly is part of it. It will follow like their own budget work out. The minister doesn't have say in that and the judiciary and all that. But for the parliament to be given 478 million uh it's, it's 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 not really it doesn't make sense isn't it to me no. it's it, it will that they should be cognizant of the economic climate in gambia and how can they reconcile it till they get far much more money than the youths i don't understand that if it all yeah yeah long yeah long mm -hmm. the the fact of the matter is we are comparing apples and oranges. Mm -hmm. You know, Albanian criticized because you are UDP. Yeah. I agree 100%. Mm -hmm. But what that individual doesn't know mm -hmm. is that if a UDP government is in place mm -hmm. and is behaving the same way, mm -hmm. I'm going to be critical of that UDP, whether Absolutely. I'm in government or Absolutely. not. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Man in Kolka for me, Tonya be killing. Tonya full of Casso, Tonya killing the Casso, well, and they got Tonya be killing. I'm not, I'm not worried about those people who make those comments. Me, I for Broncal and they've lost the debate already. Mm -hmm. Because you are comparing me outside of government to you in the government yeah. and saying, Nina, they take a monocle. Nina and Tabe Menkel, it's all on the phone in Nata. Yeah. Yeah, but Uncle, um, somebody raised a point here. We we didn't talk about education because education consistently they give a lot of money to the basic school, basic secondary schools. Yeah, I think this year also they got is it four billion or, or something? They got a lot of allocate the, the education, but not anyway, this doesn't translate because now they one time when you slam like you exam on number four for you are more more I don't know which exam is that. <laughs> <laughs> so, come on and translate. So, come on and translate. Ah. Um, and you are a little like a cut off a baroy baki. 
Ani bank se ku banko bela mu this is not about you arab banko bela mu the failure the pass rate is very low for the amount yeah. of money that mm -hmm. is put in the education system what yeah. what that shows is that we have a broken education system and unless True. we fix that broken education system by revamping our curriculum we cannot mm -hmm. be internationally competitive yeah until we are competitive internationally, it is because mm -hmm. all levels are manning A levels. Yeah. Yeah. All level better so to get all A level ke get to a university like Korabe or Njala or whatever. Yeah. 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 Now Gambia buka Gambia dini will buka our competition also to. because our curriculum is irrelevant to the realities of the country and even to the realities mm -hmm. of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, they wanted to debate this issue. Should we move away from this A level, uh, O level thing? Uh, just before Ogo, the. Ogo, uh, uh, Anas, Anas Alibaji, the common trans side. What, what name do they call it now? I, call there is no I, common I have no name. idea what they call it, but what they, whatever they call it is equivalent <laughs> to common entrance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because a debate when I was secretary general, that debate took place. <laughs> uh, and the reason why it took place was because they found a blueprint at the minister's office in education, which was proposing to overhaul our curriculum to what it is now. <laughs> and the debate was should we or should we not? I was categoric to say no. Meeting full song. Mm -hmm. competitive in the world. Mm -hmm. It's because mm -hmm. of our curriculum. Mm -hmm. And our curriculum is Cambridge. Mm -hmm. Gambia can excel in all level, A level. It's because the curriculum is rigorous. Mm -hmm. And the curriculum also produces results. Yeah. If you change that, you change mm -hmm. the rigorousness of the curriculum and you change mm -hmm. the pattern of how that curriculum is delivered. Mm -hmm. You end up not having any results, and that's what we are facing. But uh, absolutely, um, um, it's really disastrous if the failure, the, pa the pass rate all over the country is so marginal. It is. Uh, the reason why now you are, because I didn't lay my hand on this um, report on Ajele online, but I heard, uh, you are our nobody passed. The call of yeah. URL. And that is, yeah. that is, that is, that is, that is. It is ca catastrophic. Catastrophic is, is a national tragedy. Like, because you can understand um, regional bay, more clear example. And you know why I remember mm -hmm. URL for that, but we are not going to take a for that seriously. It means a good thing to do with the future. Ka a better thing. But it means a good thing to do with the results results of the Regional, the whole country pass rate because better. It is a cut off open secondary. It do you know why you are even voting? Because it can be billion billion old men some education. A catamin tole because your uncle can more go for the and he a serum or tj table or tj. Is this going into their illa illa personal emoluments? Ying illa emoluments, it can it can salary job in a phone in four billion or cata water because year in year out ministry of. Basic education, you can call it a male dealer for the salary. Lomba is it a salary? And no uncle, another team in Ajele, Naja workshops and seminars. Nimbotany education, but I yes, workshops and seminars. You often and carefully they increase that. So, well, and well, and uncle, Nanyan budget or GB in terms of leakages, it is a disastrous budget. Yeah, it is, it is definitely, it is because let, let, let me quickly. Increase. Imagine now yeah. increase. Uncle Maringa Gibi, Nabi Buluje, Safu, but let me just quickly look at the budget. Your jelly workshops and seminars. Being more jelly and jelly, I laugh. <laughs> workshops and it reminded me of Yaya Jami. Because Yaya Jami, come for the Utumako, I go in talk shops. I command you all the talk shops. I go in workshops and seminars. So, so, so one minute, like, na na alam be fengi la kuru. Okay, 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 that's fine. Na na alam ofa drongana. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, mbaling ola be la mo kan UDP online banta bala ni onko lari si jere bijam. Ah, mbaling ata quickly ngata fengkoto. Um, 
ya jelle di a fenkola um ila <laughs> Arabo, I was looking at they are very interesting. I will check. Okay, I think I've got it here. A maintenance of vehicles, you often and carefully. Um, let me go to conferences. In a budget line two two one five one zero one conferences, workshops, and seminars. Okay, let me look at the figure. Oh, 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 not Okay, okay, twenty twenty two, twenty twenty two. You just twenty four million. Uh, 2023 are uh, increased to 48 million. 2024, CDK is asking for 63 million. In, this is Pulkataka workshops and seminars. Okay, in the maintenance of vehicles, uh, maintenance Pulka Motor 2022 was 69 million. Yeah, increased to 79 million. Now CDK is asking 102. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, Ndede, I cannot give pass to this budget. The budget, uncle, so, <laughs> I, I just look at the figures there. It's 60 something million now. Yes. Elaging conferences and. and, and uh, conferences and travel. Travel, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. No one is traveling. Travel, say travel say your travel. Say for <laughs> Inyanta J clarify that. Because. That is different ah. from travel in some of the other ministries. Huh. President's office la travel budget has mm. increased. So are the other yeah. line ministries. So in travel mm. item may can you mem for them? Tell me understand. Well, and I didn't pay any attention to it, and I just ticked it as a leakage. Mm -hmm. Ah, Lamin FC seko the the allocation for basic and secondary education ako do ya tele. But near budget o jibe Lamin. Ah, education, education ministry of um basic and secondary education. Sorry, apologies. It's not. Yeah, it's four billion. Four billion. Four point one billion. billion it's them. got the highest ministry of basic and secondary. Yeah, four billion love. It's it's got the four highest. It, relatively, it is the highest. Yeah, four billion dollars. So I don't know when you say it's small, but they got the the biggest chunk of the uh, of the of the. No, of no, the, of the, four four yeah. billion only. It, it's it yeah. should it's in the ballpark for actually restructuring our education system. Mm -hmm. My my issue is that four billion. How is it going to be spent? Because we cannot keep putting that kind of money in the sector. And not getting the results when the exams come. The desired and, and results. That, yeah, that should be the concern. Yeah, of yeah. well, I'm telling you, you, you put question. all this amount in. Yeah. And and you don't get the desired results. Yeah, more than that, text. I know, say who Uncle Larry is, is. Uncle Larry is to say is spot on when he says the works and communicate works and infrastructure was an avenue for these people to milk from the system because of all these projects that they go, they give consultancy projects, and it's, it was like a infrastructure because new road projects and all these projects, so uh, it's, it's an avenue for, 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 for these people to, to, to get a lot of money. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you. Um, there is an OECD study that did infrastructure uh, analysis all over the world, and it shows that for every phase of an infrastructure project, there is mm -hmm. a potential mm -hmm. for leakages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every cycle of an infrastructure project, there is a, there is a potential for leakages. And I'm not mm -hmm. saying there are leakages in our case here. But it's a reality that we need to factor in when we talk about how much money goes into a particular sector like infrastructure. Uncle Janine Bella, I know you're saying to the policy areas that it is a Geroto, um, budget on Yanta Mune Mune Falindri Sambarana, policy driven, and what you are not seeing as far as, as far as this government is concerned. And then afterwards, Melaino you know, Yalala will take a couple of questions from the audience. Yeah. Yeah, na policy issues na jamalama. 
uh, we, we touched on the, the transition to a more advisory role uh, by, of the central bank and aligning the role of the central bank to the government's economic agenda. Mm -hmm. We talked about the overheating of the Dallas mm -hmm. uh, through government borrowing. Mm -hmm. We talked about the interest rates, whether mm -hmm. they should be increased or lowered mm -hmm. and, the, and the consequences of that. Mm -hmm. And then the, the, the issue of we cannot rely on borrowing Mm -hmm. and development grants mm -hmm. to finance our development. Mm -hmm. For me, that is the biggest policy consideration we need to, uh, we need to look into. But in the long run, we need to follow on deaf ears. Well, yes. They are not listening to us. Yes. They are not listening to us, but we will not be tired of saying it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, um, let us put system, systems in place that will reduce the leakages that we keep talking about mm -hmm. uh, across the board in all the institutions. Mm -hmm. And then let's adopt stringent fiscal discipline measures in the economy mm -hmm. and adhere to approved appropriations by discarding mm -hmm. supplementary appropriations requests to the National Assembly. And finally, I, 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 can you imagine, do you think we'll ever be in a situation where this government will present a budget and then not go back, not go to the National Assembly with a supplementary appropriation budget? Do you think a, 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 such a scenario will ever happen as far as this government is concerned? So far, they have not shown that to be the case. Mm -hmm. uh, Mambure has done more supplementaries than all the finance ministers combined <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> And, and the current finance minister is following the same way. I'm hoping that um, mm -hmm. they will realize that these supplementaries just feed into the inflation that yeah. it creates yeah. for the government. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and if, mm -hmm. if they realize that, they will try to have that budget discipline that we've been talking about, meaning you ask for X amount of billion dollars, we gave it to you, manage it in such a way that you don't come back to us for more money. If we have that kind of budget discipline, then I, I am satisfied. Uh, I'm not hopeful, though. OK, I'm got, uh, I've got two questions. Uh, um, people are listening. Uh, we, we have people in Gambia, many of them text tech question. The reason Bukhe told for, uh, some of them are in the government. I know them. So Malavi yeah. told for Kela Hajol Tinya, because UDP online Bantaba is like seen as a uh, I don't want all the government, they see us in a different light. And um, because of the lack of maturity of this government, so neither you are a emotional servant of the government, you ask questions. When you when they send me text messages, what I'm okay told for, I'm not deliberately trying to. Somebody send me a text message, a call, say, well, very interesting program. I'm listening to your show, but can you and Uncle Larry say one good thing about the budget? Or can you give us at least something positive that Adam Abaro's government is doing because since I started listening to the program <laughs> you have been very critical of this government from the word go uh, I, I think if you want to be taken seriously at least you should say one good thing about this government or one but okay that's one question um so the order <laughs> Uncle Larry maybe maybe this evil thing that we are too hard, hard on them maybe we we answer that well, one first well maybe 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 the, the person who takes is right. Uh, mm -hmm. But the question then becomes, if we are too critical of the government, mm -hmm. are we critical because we, are, we, are, we have a right to, to be critical or are we critical because we are making factual contributions to the debate? Mm -hmm. Now, um, there was a time in Kafo Moleko, for me, it is too early to even talk about Adama Baro. Yeah. And yeah. this was in 2017, 2018. Mm -hmm. 2019, when I saw things going in a certain way, I started talking about them on my Facebook uh, page and in mm -hmm. Twitter. Mm -hmm. And then I started when corruption went out of hand. Mm -hmm. I think it was King FM that I said, Mm -hmm. because 
if we don't speak, we forever hold our peace. Mm -hmm. We need to talk about corruption. We need to talk about the bloated civil service regime that we have. Mm -hmm. Now, now we killing better man for Adam Obaroy. I'll be hard pressed to to see it because corruption is not something that he's doing a whole lot about, mm -hmm. especially within the context that uh, uh, an auditor's opinion is just an opinion. So on the auto for Nola, but it, when it comes to Aladomoro, Barokundangole, this auto for Nola. That is that is a positive thing on him. He mm -hmm. he needs to ramp up the agricultural sector so that this country can become food self-sufficient at the household level. If he does that... Oh, 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 why are these civil servants so preoccupied with us praising the government? I don't... Well, I don't the, yeah, the, why, I, why I, does I, it bore them? Unfortunately, I don't, I don't praise just for the sake of praising. Yeah. yeah I, I am yeah. critical because there, we need to be critical on how we assess the performance of our tax money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. tax mm -hmm. but yeah. in Sasada, I am on my own because I'm not a senior government civil servant. Yeah. So, yeah. so you cannot expect me to clap for that one and say, well done, you increased the medical expenditures for civil servants budget from 40 to 60 million. No. I cannot also yeah. clap for the fact that President La Budget is one is 872 million when the youth and sports budget is 122 million. Not when mm. the, the mm. situation was the reverse of that, I would mm. be coming to your platform and say, yeah. say yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But it's just for the sake of it. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry to say, we, there are not too many things that you can say, I need to say better. Yeah. If, I, if, I, if I somebody asks Uncle Amadou Sane the same question, or uh, what mm. I the king again, if Uncle Amadou Eko, you have been always been critical of Baro. Can you say one positive thing? Uncle Amadou Kaiko, no, there's nothing for me to say. Nothing positive. <laughs> Very interesting. This reminds me of that. Uncle, um, the, the other question, um, I think this guy also in Vermaco Shehu, can you guys explain to us why our currency constantly depreciates against major foreign currencies? The, the way the dollar is depreciating is alarming. Uh a couple of months ago, the dollar was uh, the pound sterling was in the 60, 65. Now it is almost plummeting to nearing 80 to the to the to the to the dollar And the way we are going, if this is not controlled very soon, you will have hundred dollars to one pound sterling. And I come on the currency with because the dollar is overheating. The dollar is overheating. It is overheating because of borrowing from the central bank. Mm. It is also overheating because there is currency manipulation by our financial institutions. Mm -hmm. mm. On the international scene, it's about $80. Near Kodo Kinte, sign sign time from New York, na bank to near Nina transfer. The the exchange rate is around $59 to a dollar. That is overheating mm -hmm. because the currency the currency regime is being manipulated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The difference between the 80 dollars we are talking about and the 50 or 60 that they pay me at the bank goes mm -hmm. to the banks. Yeah. As yeah. financial intermediaries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So borrowing is overheating the dollars, but currency mm -hmm. manipulation is also overheating the dollars. Well, and then Katula Folako, as a key policy measure. Let mm -hmm. us just float the Dallas and get all these middle men and women out of business in one fell swoop. But in Nigeria, mm -hmm. the, the, the Naira is stabilizing around 650, 660, 70 dollars, uh, Naira to a dollar. Mm -hmm. That is mm -hmm. that is the equilibrium price of a Dallas, I mean, a, a Naira in the Nigerian market. Why can't we do the same thing here? Let the market determine what the exchange rate ought to be. Uncle, uh, I remember, I remember one time when I went to Accra. Uh, mm. I think we changed. We you know, just left for hundred dollars for two hundred dollars now or pounds sterling, whatever. Mm. Yeah, now coloke nylon boots are going to CD. But now the CD has 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 gained strength. So yes. it looks like the Ghanaians have coupled this, you know. 
uh, uh, um, uh, exchange rate depreciation of the city. But it seems in all Gambia, we can't get our, ourselves out of this black hole. We, we the can. Ghanaians have, they, they address this head on. What more? Now, uh, the CD defend they were saying now the CD from Malam Fall is stronger than the dollar bank. You know, it's just we have the to ask CD, ourselves the how CD, did we get The CD is stronger than the dollar The Naira is yeah. stronger than the dollar Look at the turnaround. When I when yeah. I remember, like last time I was in Accra, like mm. I said, CD water Fendi it was like you know, CD was was the the value of the CD was next to nothing. But now, through policy measures, they managed to turn around this thing. So. Don't don't let me come out, Uncle. We are no so I'm making a sign right now. Uh no, I don't know the uncle in there. The mm -hmm. There is somebody who says my brother the Naira is dying. I'm not I'm not denying that. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying the exchange rate for the Naira today, mm -hmm. compared to when Bola Tinubu came to power, you can say mm -hmm. the, the effects of his monetary and fiscal policy is impacting on the Naira. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that the Naira is not in trouble. It is in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Is, 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 at this juncture, um, audience, will, uh, more than anything, I left a question on you, Ningala. You can call my number and ask a question. But love it, Amanda. I don't want long winded explanation. I just want you to ask questions, please. Um, not commentaries. I don't want commentary uh, because we, this is a special program here, along with an analysis of the budget. So if you want to ask questions, maybe you can just ask questions. The line is open right now on Ethan and Mandaba. Ningal Mong, question also, and then Ni Uncle Ladi will wrap up the show. So that means pretty much we have answered almost most of the questions that they have. So uh, the line is open. On UDP on Bandara. It has been a very uh, breathtaking uh, discussion. My uncle Larry analysis of the budget. Other experts can also see things differently. You know, any to Abu Jang, Al Kajale, um, Ning opinion of the Kikang, experts all opinion, honey football of Al Kajale, experts all opinion of a very you know, so I forgot VR got it right. No, 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 I think VR got it wrong, and they are all experts, you know. So, Ning budget of an analysis as a Keno or Yaman. Dollar analysis, Dolma and for Jan Tonga Girin Almint in our level. But Ning Dolphana Yaja, no Jana Colon, Wolfana Mira Nalo, and there is nothing like specific right. Ital Lamoyla, Ital Bay Lamoyla, Ning Donka Men for Ning Donka Men for Ye Ten Ten, Ye Baker Mirankele. Ah, until a MPP friend Dolvijako, she who said to me, you are always critical of this government because that shows the bias that you have. Uh, you never say anything good about Boro government. I don't think you even like Adam Boro. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, Karayaku Bismillah. <laughs> Karayaku Bismillah. Wa alaikum salam. Irimbara. Thank you, thank you, Karayaku. Is it, it's 42, 42 billion, Kara. It's not even 38 billion. It's, it's 42 billion. Yeah. Yeah. So almost 100. Yeah. Uh, even, uh, 42 billion. 100, 42. Yeah. yeah, yeah, almost 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what do you want to do with the other? I don't know. Ah, yalo, 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 fanang, okay, as a kind of contextually, Kara Yakub. No more big place like yalo within context. Within context, he say a phone or nimbeda, but the mamera model fund to have overall a bloating budget like this. A bloating budget may along go. How can you explain Adam Barola made the people store increment from 10 million to 30 million? You might have a who can say that's a good thing. You might have a traveling expenditure, uh, a traveling expenses increase, you know, 
uh, from 279 million to 366 million. In fact, they are projecting by 2025 it will go to 521 million. You might have to justify that now. Komuku can do a struggling economy like us, ours. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, when you talk about problem, back to Angola, number one, 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 Angola, number yeah, long. This is a social science, economics, social science. Long. These opinions can can we can have divergent opinions here, but I don't every day. And Tolongana criticism based on reasoning. Look, um, I'm not even gonna waste my time to try to justify myself. Really, you can think that I I dislike Baro. Only opinion that I'm not bothered with that. I have not. I don't know Baro before he became president. I don't think Uncle Larry knew him before. I he don't know him. Long. Imalong. So it's nothing personal against Barrow. But if some of you think that because whatever Barrow does, we are critical, that's your opinion. Because at the end of the day, Nim Barrow started turning around this economy. Barrow started today, I'll expenditure Tala genuinely. I, I, I He diverts these resources into the productive. They say we say the liminal is the love law. particularly but I've been in the Honestly, I would say that. Just because. I am opposing Baro, but he is not doing those things. I love that you understand. So, and you're gonna force me to criticize to praise Baro. I'm not here to praise somebody just for the sake of it, just like Uncle Larry here for Nyami. If you guys don't want to listen to us, that's fine. Yeah, I understand, Uncle Larry. But Gambian all they are so preoccupied with this praising, 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 come and second praise, come and second praise. Uncle, this is is this something me, Uncle? Is sometimes to me it is like anomaly long in the other Jibe West Dam. Who sits down here at our social media come and second praise? You might go, okay. Man second I will do cool. But these people think that how man second I still do cool and take a praise. Is are they not paid to deliver, Uncle? They are paid to deliver. I have a simple, very simple principle. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know President Barrow as a person or an individual enough for me to dislike him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, much less to hate him. Mm -hmm. uh, what I know is he's my elected president. Mm -hmm. I didn't vote for him, mm -hmm. but he's the president of the republic today. Mm -hmm. And I respect that. Mm -hmm. If he does things that I envisage for my country, mm -hmm. Wallahi, I take a UDP coding, NPP coding. I will stand up and say, well done, President Barrow. Exactly. This is this is the nature of my character. But in our market, for now, nimba criticize la. I'm criticizing with due respect and regard for the office he holds. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is my considered view on the state mm -hmm. of the nation. Mm -hmm. And that considered view may may they may like it or dislike it. But at the same time. Nobody can prevent me from having an opinion on something like this. What you told GBA, 40 jolly billion. Mm. It's almost double what it was last year. Exactly. And, exactly. and when you look at the, 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 the amount of money, the 40 billion plus that is going into the budget, most of it is borrowed mm. money or grants. Mm. Mm -hmm. And we, ha we haven't even talked about grants, but even the grants. Budget line, it is decreasing. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, foreign countries it's good that are grants, to grants to not give yeah. us the grants they used to give us. That should be a wake up call for us to say. Marco, you know, yeah. grants, Marco, you recommend in the yes. it's, it's, it's coming down significantly. Mm -hmm. and, and you cannot see all of those things and mm -hmm. still say, okay, I need to praise the president. Mark Presla on what case? Uncle, but but in fact, but, but, yeah. in, in fact mm -hmm. as far as I am concerned, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it should be gold for President Barrow because mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So until men kafo, kafo nyo kalmala fala aliyebanga tole. That again, mm -hmm. it is bogus. Yeah. 
Anyanti la mwela nto lela because nto leka tonya fai. Tonya, tonya. Fo fo mol buka afenke on social media ka menu be bale buka tonya foe. Tonya lom. So nto menta bala man interest soto a vested interest in any of these things. When we criticize, we are telling him what in our gut feeling is is our honest opinion on things. Yeah. Yeah, if yeah. he as an individual cannot uh, uh, appreciate that, then so be it. But what are things that are long conca and because people want us to clap for him? No. But often when you are so now, because man in call can men follow because more like a man sake man sat. Kodi, but a man sale ka afang obondi. Tonyalo. Man sake afang obondi nyadi le afok mo ana ala ala. Alabaro, alabara, baraku, barakeo. Wofulo leka manza bonde. Manza o manza ni nyamenta. When people start clapping you, clapping for you, you enjoy it. But when they start throwing stones at you, it's time to rethink. And as far as I'm concerned, for the first stage later, where President Baro needs to rethink. Yeah. To see where he's going wrong and how he can mm. correct that. But uncle, mona ti nela zero to that the 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 grand sort of magnitude nimbe plummeting and reducing, going down. Grand grand sol. Ite la zero to. This is alarming, isn't it? Makoi robe bokam from the dunia be kamakoi robe ndila amount oni nimbe jika. Ite la ite ite. What's the reason for that? Is it has to do with governance issues probably? I I I hold on hold on call hold on call hold on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I, I would think it has to do with uh, governance and on governance. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uncle, hold on. Call a member line auto. Hold on. Hold on. Please. Hold on. Please. Yeah, he's, just, he, he's just talking. He's not listening to me. He's not. <laughs> Mr. Bajo. Uh -huh. Lamoy. 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 Follow. Mine yale. But it, I come take it. Ibela, we can fend the lady. What a lot because no one take more. But hold on, Uncle Larry, for the minute, yeah, yeah, more. Okay, okay, okay. Uncle Larry, go ahead, please. I'm, I'm saying when you look at the grants, the grants are showing a trend-wise decline. You are an economist. Yeah, on a trend-wise, what it means, yeah, 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 yeah. It is declining. Yeah. Now. Being on the side of the donors, mm -hmm. uh, 20 plus years of my life, mm -hmm. I know that governance, donors tend to be very concerned about the governance, governance. of the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even in the governance of the country, mm -hmm. they, are, they focus more on respect for the rule of law, yeah. adhering to constitutionalism, and fighting corruption. Now, Adhering mm -hmm. to constitutionalism yeah. has a component for individual and civil rights. Mm -hmm. These are some of the key concerns that donors have. Mm -hmm. Whether you are FOE or you are FOE, that is part of the mix of things that they mm -hmm. look at. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a situation where you cannot account for donor funds mm -hmm. uh, in terms of grants, accounting and stuff, I give the global fund from the from, yes. from Switzerland. Where is it's, a typical it's a, example? It's a good example of uh, how some donors are so serious about accounting for what they give you. Mm -hmm. And I think the global fund, Momo, a global fund loan, mm -hmm. and, and you have worked with them. In Yanta Alona, honey, ten dollars them, they want it back. They will, they will, they will ask for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have managed a global fund project in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Over a three-year period, 500 million US dollars. Mm -hmm. But every year, the Nimbina Home Leave La Gambia, I, I make sure it is audited. Yeah. Because now, the, the, the slightest leakage mm -hmm. that the global fund sees, they will stop funding you until yes. you release it. You can it. You can Mm -hmm. Your UN system finance is, is by and large like, like that. Mm -hmm. When they mm -hmm. give you money, they want you to account for that money. Yeah, Mafra, the government is not it. accounting for the money. Yeah. But I'm saying these are some of the reasons why donors tend to put a break on their grant 
giving uh, grant grant giving kindness for lack of a better word. I was very concerned. Mm-hmm. I, I was too. I was too. I was very, very concerned. Alarming. Not not because the, the amount of the money mm-hmm. is decreasing. Mm-hmm. I was concerned about the reasons behind the decrease. Behind it. And the trend and the downward trend. Yeah, it's, the it's, downward mm-hmm. trend of it, the reasons mm-hmm. behind it. Because I don't know the reasons behind it. Mm-hmm. I can I can just say until I experience him and the Nawalem, these are some of the things they take into account. But it, 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 it must be based on reason because the, this government got a lot of goodwill pretty at the beginning. The goodwill was yeah. there, but it dissipated all of a sudden. And then we can only no, let let me let me give you one good case example. Mm. Mm. When they engage the government about supporting government initiative mm. with all their goodwill mm. on the ground. Mm. When you put the program together, mm-hmm. you go to your headquarters. Mm-hmm. When you go to your headquarters, mm. you have to defend why you are asking for that money. Yeah. If you cannot plausibly defend it based on these core principles, they don't give yeah. it to you. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Abaraka uh, Uncle, uh, Mr. Bajo, go ahead with your question, please. Thank you. And thanks for your understanding. Being on the call waiting in four minutes. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm to I'm going to
you know about this education thing dolka ponye ko common entrance man so ntelenga long ko common entrance man so to kote ki mhm ntamban ne drong ko nte i believe in common entrance ya murundi na ha because that is what is going to make our kids internationally competitive mhm now when it comes to the education sector mhm nte my personal view We mm-hmm. don't need two ministries for education. The country is too yeah. small for that. Mm-hmm. Let them reform the education sector by mm-hmm. creating one ministry of education. It has a division, mm-hmm. a, a, a directorate for primary education, a directorate for secondary education, and a directorate for tertiary education. Mm-hmm. But the system has to be reformed. True. This True. last caller can you remember for them? Bukol Bukasoto. Another yeah. Bukol at the kodo babula tata e bukosa adimu e bukol nyin samba school the chances are that bukol be fill up before the term ends uncle uncle ye kuma le fonya about amitej high school um but ma confirm for all and ma ko nyin kata apparently these are reports that the meeting with the parents of kumandi ka vo ko sai fonle be responsible le la kola um So may information that I could ying and ya jam at a time a manke a manke jawara at a time but ngai go I want to see evidence or the affected parents should go you right at king fm or them complain and let them let this news go viral because need all the amount that you carry more weight than me talking here banta ba ko nyine nyine ke but ni parents will I call meeting with the command reportedly mole mole audio plan ni ko alpha member je wolle be complain kam but it wouldn't surprise me on this government uncle um there are two areas left on the damning torch then we will probably close there mm. uh finance ministry also giving 2 billion yeah. in the allocation um and 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 i don't understand this why do you think this finance ministry will have this uh what do they do what do they <laughs> because it's like funkoto bambo you are the one who allocates the budget so you allocate great chunk of the budget to yourself isn't it right yeah yeah lon say wala tin nanko when i looked at the budget hmm. i i i got very saddened by the pattern of expenditures yeah yeah long expenditure tracking it has a pattern mm-hmm. when you see a line ministry getting an exponential increase in their budget allocations year after mm-hmm. year after year mm-hmm. you have to question why the exponent exponentiality mm-hmm. and then you'll give a final yellow ni ni i didn't even touch final yeah. yeah because i i my personal view is that that's an outrageous sum yeah it is for for a ministry of finance mm-hmm. to have as an operating budget yeah it is ndum mala fi fanan a lot of our people when they lose the the arguments the debate they go personal mm-hmm. they attack mm-hmm. you personally or insult mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. but niaji be financial allocations exponentially kabrim mamburela time it's been going yeah. up year yeah. after year after year yeah. yeah yeah you have to question why what what mm-hmm. do they do to demand mm-hmm. those things aside from yeah. conferences yeah, yeah. Conferences. So when I'm going to President's office need a budget or the mm-hmm. line ministries have their budgets. Mm-hmm. Each of, each one of those line ministries have a, a a travel budget line. Yeah. But even in spite of that, you have a standalone traffic travel budget line, which is what sixty million. Ila, so you, ila. Have, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you you have to question why. 
this exponentiality in this line ministries. Mm -hmm. And you can only say everybody is taking care of themselves. Yeah. Now, that exacerbates the original opening statement that I made, that mm -hmm. it exacerbates mm -hmm. poverty, it yeah. exacerbates yeah. the inequality in our economy mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and in our society. Mm -hmm. This is a case where if, if you are a permanent secretary, deputy permanent secretary, director mm -hmm. general, mm -hmm. minister, mm -hmm. president, Nisa Sata, the state takes care of you. What is yeah. stopping the state from investing that 60 million that they put in the uh, medical treatment budget line into the Ministry of Health mm -hmm. and put it on notice to say, improve the primary and secondary uh, healthcare system so that we can all get treated in the same hospital? Mm -hmm. Nima Okeno. Okay, why don't you just go to Social Security Housing Finance Corporation, invest that money in there in a, in a fungible fungo, uh, medical insurance scheme where mm -hmm. everybody can have access to medical care through that scheme. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, you, if you go to Botswana, for example, they have mm -hmm. a very solvent uh, medical and health insurance scheme for civil mm -hmm. servants, even for, for private sector. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is to, is to contribute to it. They give you your card and, and the facility that is managing that insurance mm -hmm. scheme has gone global where you can go anywhere in the world, present your card, you get treated and it is charged. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Ntolu, instead of now school policy CFAL adopt, we, we, we keep increasing money. Next year, ni ni uh, forty to sixty this year. Next year, ba kela eighty to one hundred million. Yeah, a yeah. um, So I'm saying yeah. we need to sit and have a very serious, heart to heart discussion as Gambians, and decide that the country can do better than it is doing. Mm -hmm. And the best way to do that mm -hmm. is to reform our institutions to deliver the services that we need as citizens. Service delivery is zero in this country. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely worrying, worrying signs. Uncle, I brought back a very interesting analysis. That's where we will draw the coating on the analysis of the budget for today. Um, but the final topic left on my mind, Uncle, is another topical issue. Recently, Adam Abaro returned from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. And Saudi Arabia, he came up with breaking news. <laughs> I don't like to use this terminology. What is the breaking, breaking news? news? I go, OIC summit one more time postponed to May oh. 2025. <laughs> but Uncle, you know my friend, he's my friend, Adama. He was mm. very, 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 um, you know, um, strong. Um, uh last time in the very emphatic rather in his in his words Birakoko Gambia OIC hosted December 2023. <laughs> he said that <laughs> he told us that. Then all of a sudden Manazi Badan and Saudi he ate his words um and said you know what I got because of security yellow money for Angel Uncle the excuse he gave I call all call then he went there because of security concerns. So that's why Gambia now is going to host the OIC in 2024. Do you believe but, the word? But, what is but, that? But Se Seku, that in itself is a wake up call for him. Yeah. <laughs> why, why would an international organization tell you we are going to postpone uh, an international event because of the security in your country? Uh-huh. <laughs> Water very frankly, because uh, well, I, I, let, let me clarify, Uncle. I tell my focus international why I see for Ateko. I tell my focus. Adam is not very eloquent now with the Anglo campus. So sometimes people call him a bit more far. Yeah, very unusual. Ateko. Yes, we decided to postpone this because of security concern and other things. So Ateko ah. now, Ateko there was unanimous agreement. The unanimous agree. Ko now this better to postpone it. But I might indicate better. The one layer of fire security forty four months ago, but he did mention because security was one issue. Like why this is either way, either the months ago, but security. Yeah, was uh, all I'm saying is, 
that yeah. should be a wake up call for him yeah to to ramp up on security mm -hmm. it should be a wake up call for him to say that we've been constantly postponing this oic muna oic manya na kela ka green 2017 laba ha 2017 ga bali postpone ka green 2017 iba postpone la ha inte inte on this particular issue be be sanaw yala gundilan ning arama barote baro kundan ko lem na na ya ke luolu mba mba congratulate la ko thank you for delivering on on the oic conference until then i am fair again <laughs> you know uncle tell me understand is it a must that we have to host oic because it clearly we have demonstrated this government has demonstrated and proven to to the international community they lack the pedigree they ha they don't have the ability to go oic host why can't they just humbly humbly you have oic you have new oic all the venue shift to another country is it because no, they have already, we, they already we have we have we have passed that stage so mm -hmm. let, let's face it, it it's going to be exceedingly embarrassing <laughs> For, for him to come out uh, plainly and say in that host no <laughs> it will be embarrassing but i think uh, again muskebal menka message ke facebook ni tiktok ka poko adam waro ila moy mol kan ila moy mol la men be bara i think mm -hmm. they have a point yeah and the point is that ni mo mo e o i see la nyin uh infrastructure activity jibe Mm -hmm. We are talking about what 25 kilometers from airport junction to Tinkon. Mm -hmm. That's taking us four years to build. Mm -hmm. 25 kilometers. Now we have a conference center, and and that is trending. Namira, uh, 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 one of the platforms on Facebook is saying, the fencing of that conference center is what. 100, 100 and something million. Mm -hmm. And that is just defensive. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, government mm mampare. -hmm. But mm -hmm. to be fair to them, can I expect ko, they will come out and say, mampare because nga long kon ta, ta, ta host no. Mm -hmm. Ito len yan ta jibe la drong. Maninkol ka fo me ke fam fele. Ni e fam fele ya long kon nyin te ben no la. Ye da bon DJ Katabaki. But in Tambita, because 2017 Tata, 2018 Tata, 2019 Tata, 2020 Tata, 2021 Tata, 22 Tata, and 23 Le Konote, 23 Fanambita. So it's in fact, in fact, Uncle Adam was supposed to start his Made the People store today. Atata Leba, according to the IT. Atata Yes. Wow, okay. We're going to actually mention it. He started, um, uh, uh, he got this uh, 28th to the man of 86 of December. So across Talibi, Atatale. Atatale, huh? Hey, then let's brace ourselves for telling the rolling Gara well, Wahil. This is, this is fine. Um, na keta fanang, atente, atente teren na. Uh, na manke, I'll, I'll, I'll say, okay, there is a, a, a level of, a level of improvement, uh, on the horizon. Yeah. But now, yeah. I think I think there is. I didn't surprise. But in that, I'm alone. Wrong. Well, we need to go. The amount of money you mm -hmm. you look at your estimate. The amount of money they budgeted for that trip. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. It's outrageous. No, can I have more from tracing for that? Yeah, yeah. Meet the farmers. No, yeah. tell them the figure. Meet the farmers store. Your lemu budget on income. I want it to come uh, from me. Ten million. Your twenty twenty three. Next next year, I got thirty million. You got thirty million. Yes. BBB ten million level spent. Yeah, the twenty twenty three one. Ten million. Twenty twenty three. Ten million for according to the uncle Larry. No. Tell him million. Suppose suppose cut for thirty million. Thirty million. You know. The money they made because come forward for telling the role. You come a calendar and follow the. Funding all uh Uncle Larry, before you go also, on different um one thing, Kume in Jahalini Mansekona recently, I think 40 plus youths died, reportedly died in Bakao. Mary Alango going to the back way. No condolence message from the government of Gambia. I didn't they didn't even say a word about it. UDP obviously made a statement, you know, 
expressing condolences to the bereaved families. But is that not why? Is that, did that surprise no, you? No, yeah, 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 statement release, le. foreign affairs le, statement release. Oh, a statement release, le. okay. Yes, okay, then. foreign affairs a statement release. Le. Mm -hmm. If I was sitting in Barrow's chair, mm -hmm. a tragedy like that happens, I will go mm -hmm. to talk to the nation on national TV and radio. Exactly, at a phone. Exactly. Then I will get into the vehicle and go and commensurate with the community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is where empathy comes into play. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lamin FC say maybe Akufo. From clear sources, there's nothing regarding anything for anyone to pay a dime at Amitage. Okay, so are you saying that this, the 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 rumors that the the government uh, is asking uh, told the parents that they would not they would have to be responsible? Are you saying that's that's untrue? Because I I got the audio. So if you are saying that it is not true, then that's good news. Um, that's what you uh, are saying. If it is not true or it is true, time will tell. Okay. Yeah, time will tell. In fact, in fact, in fact, we'll be happy that it's not true. I'll be happy. Yeah, I, don't want to I hope it is not true. But yeah, it I is, hope it's not true, Mr. C. Say, only not time true. will sort that out for us. Yes. Okay, Abaraka Bake. Thank you so much, Uncle Larry. It was always a pleasure having you here. And I hope uh to Lamu Ralph and uh Donato Bay Karantale. Uh, banku do quality manager personal issues or la manki kuma masakuna konne dokana jirinya le for for people to listen to us nim dolu fane jirinya do re kata do ke yento la point of debunk that's the beauty of democracy you know but these discussions have to have to go on so all the listeners will only alone kale pantaba la mu thank you for being here uncle laring e blarek for another time and thank you for being here yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you thank you very much and those of you who say thank you know you. we we are critical you should thank us for being critical because we are saying things you know mm. are factually based. Mm. We are not saying things that you can manipulate government. Talin talin won kebata win. Wallahi. That's what Wallahi. I wanted to say. Wallahi. Wallahi. <laughs> Abarake, thank you. Thank you, Uncle Larry. Thank you. Thank you. And okay. thank you to my darling Alima for doing the advertisement for us. Thank you. <laughs> Uncle Abaraka, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good thank night you. to everybody. Good night. Good night. Okay, Allah Barakabake. Um, that's the end of um the Uncle Larry in the show. Allah Barakabake, thank you for being here. Today, the current affairs show, um, analysis of the Gambela uh, the draft estimates 2024. It's still draft because it's not approved by the National Assembly yet. That's why we call it draft estimates. Then the National Assembly will sit over this. And once it is approved, then it becomes budget, approved budget. That's why they call it approved budget. So the ball is in the court of the lawmakers. So we've been here two hours, 37 minutes, um, doing a very important. So there's one gentleman on in Banta, on Ate, Ate Banta Valley, Lamin Ture. I don't know who this Lamin Ture is. Lamin Ture, one day you should call it into Banta Valley. Because you are you are always on YouTube trying to remote control how safe he said he behaves on his show. Say we don't laugh, so we don't do this. You know, when I see your comments, I laugh. Um, um so why can't you call in Lamin? Lamin Tour. I want to hear your voice. You are a very emo YouTube in cabality. Uh, and then you are one of the biggest fans of YouTube Online Manta. But I want to hear your voice. Don't be a robot behind the computer. Um, Fatu Wale is here calling. Malum Fala Fredi Amla Banta Wale Bam. Fatu Wale, Lafla Di Amla Banta Wale Bam. For is a personal call. No, no. Malum Fala Fredi Amla Banta Wale Bam. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Yeah, Bismillah. Ibn Bara. Ibn Bara. Ibn Bara. Say hunga onkul lari fana kontom. Membe kere say hu. Membe budgeto membe futa kununga alamai. Kuna si sendi lafi kona sebe di amkan. Budgeto me ya sa funding kioli. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.
and in a way that about kanyama it was not even remorseful at all ona i can make up for coming ko baro bina fit la kana ka fo kata san ko tomala mole baro to kala so sidi no let me get this clear for the wallet sidi sidi mon fo ako nyadi ako aka de fanga ako could you imagine hearing hearing from the people that they they even took money that amount of money they have spent thousands of money they have spent on a child to go through the back way and for instead those people should should have spent that money and invested in the gambia and all engaging oh now no so in a way the parents all left on jalai kan ko di sidi sidi okay But I, I found while I told you for the Gambia government, Buka Jode, he's he's he is administrative secretary of NPP. We are not paying him NPP level by Joka. But then, yeah, but then that money is from the Gambia tax, taxpayers' money now. It's not Where supposed to be funny as soon, but it's not supposed. Maybe y'all don't come UDP. Uh, if we have our senior administrative secretary in Kajo, for example, y'all don't tell me opposition or until we don't pay, but NPP. Because they are ruling government, I'm sure maybe Adam Abarola, new business financiers or whatever, or like a senior role man, maybe be able to know. But procedurally, our salary shouldn't come from the consolidated fund. New York, that's criminal because he's not a staff of the Gambia. He's not staff by the Gambia. He's MPP like employee. New New Joe from our taxpayers' money. That's that would be criminal. So maybe be Menkela. Adam Abarola from us are Joe no le. Oh, they have you know MPP will they have funds. Kodo be able because they are very rich. You know they are not you know. Yeah, but Tapale yeah, maybe an in an in an in businessman or milk finance supposedly, you know, like somebody like Khalil Wage or what the other guy, what's his name? Ala Jawara can give NPP maybe a million or two million, for example. I'm just saying on it, but maybe not legally, legally, it's not supposed to come from Gambia taxpayers' money because CD is not employed by Gambia government, you know. So in fact, in fact all those monies that have been even given to Adana Baro, mm -hmm. lobbying money and all, all those monies, yeah. they are given to Adana Baro because he is he's a president. Exactly. Of the I agree with you so on those that. Monies, those monies are not his personal money. Yeah. So I still disagree that he, he, he is saying that statement or oh, have been paid by NPP. <laughs> so I'm, that one is. So, so maybe, maybe a kata baro lak tall lak kodi. Wala na kabi jamu because yalom baro left. Ah, tagada mili. Maybe CD saying, "Oh, I'm too busy, more than particular." So he acted arrogantly. Grada tasunyo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was just, he just did it abusively and then left and went. Wow. You know. Wow. This is this is. This, I was watching it. No, but yalom de ah fatu alende boka CD si sela kuma for science. CD, CD is a sellout. CD, CD, CD ni ntola be non freedom. We used to do program together. CD, CD ka kumol be be hoja ni science. CD. Nde wala na bila bila sa una NPP na mandi amode. Because CD tende kola. CD tende kola because. Ako wale fonde fane fatu because bila nata jamu. Ako nye ko UDP atolu wakanyi. Atolu mwoli nye da atolu lemi. Atolu le Adamo Baro di Molan. Adamo is not a good president. So wala nante bila siri sa wanda NPP nte waru tale. Biko ate fwa waka Baro kritisaiz da nun. In fact UDP le jalai. Why would you give us such a person as a president? Nye da kake siri le. Yalo fatu wale. Fatu wale a fwa mandi ya wale Gambian. Sometimes buka Gambian no describe no fatu wale. Gambian no. Ibuke lo koro ya le tanta. Yeah yeah.
I better oh, go fight Thank you. Come, come 2026. You, you, you <laughs> keep doing what you are doing, Fatu. You keep doing what you are doing. Just continue doing. Inshallah, be better Allah. Mokana jikila tayi. Benyi men beke kanteng. Wallahi mokana pishali. Allah, Allah ka hadamadi wu reward ila baro Allah. Nenga tarantol benyi nke kampu na tuudi Allah waranga kusho taje ala tendanko la. Bon, nimbe nge niyo soto kampurka na banku bondi kola yako na inshallah ala bi baraka kala mwakoto. Inshallah. Yeah, yeah. Abaraka, abaraka fa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was good talk. Okay, well, look at sister Fadi Wali, the deputy PRO, UDP executive. So now I'm just going to wrap up the program with some news from the UDPK chapter. Um, uh, I'm going to use that segment here to talk about UDPK chapter and briefly. Uh, we have uh, very good news today, and I think the PRO team are going to share that in our main forums if they have not already done so. Um, uh, we have a new branch, Mayor Longo, well established uh, in Reading. And congratulations to Reading Kulu. Uh, as the chairman of the chapter, I'm very delighted. And I did leave an audio in the Reading forum. Mayor Longo, George and Dur actually shared the audio with them. Uh, Reading Kulu, they met uh, in uh, weekend November holiday on the 19th yesterday. And they elected an interim executive because um is the newest branch right now because you know uk chapter we have many branches i think nine or it should be ten or nine because some of the branches all have merged together so it's under this new executive also under my leadership this is the newest branch uh man lord and it's a it's a it's good news so uh interim chair congratulations to you uh elect um Lamin Mane, you will like a lava interim PROD, Ila Deputy Chair, uh Woleketa Najaran Kasisati Mari Kinte. Uh Fadabo Nyominko Wolela interim interim chair. Ngo you go reading cool. Bring your congratulate no audio moving. Gale Tinaro Keta Bali Nyominko Kala Chiati. Tinaro Keta Ultra, but the number or everything else is good. But the comforting thing for me is a deputy mujaran called the Mari Kinte. And the uh, in a secretary general of Buba San uh, these are interim positions. And thank you to Redden. Um, we have a branch there, Mayan, which just uh, started, and they are very passionate. And Birmingham, uh, our fire, fire power of the chapter, uh, so they will also be doing their congress uh, in Coventry. Uh, sorry, uh, yes, it's all in Coventry coming together. They'll be doing their conference in Saturday. Abekala Bendima, Baleti Mayalongo, Abekala Birmingham. So Albei Taji, preparations are on high gear. Ila internal, the internal democracies within the UDPK chapter are rolling on. London, Van and they're having their meetings. They will be doing their congresses, Congress um, and Bristol, Walila Congress will already. Jumale, the chairman of the say, Wallum. Uh, the, uh, the Bristol branch, Wallam Fenkati, um, Charno Job, who used to be part of the old executive. So, congratulations, to uh, Charno. So, there are other places, the leads, and they were going to have their meeting um, next week and they will be having their congress. So, I think plans are out foot also in Manchester for them to also sort their uh, to, to, to have a meeting and to sort things out in Manchester. Uh, unfortunately, in my own backyard, Crawley uh, is lagging behind um so i don't know but we are trying we have to do something crawley la congress is still not set but hopefully it will be gone so thank you the chapter is in good hands and then already we have now got a new branch mayalongo is added to the existing branches right in and um, it only example of said in a chair mumusoleti in a deputy mumusole fananti fada bole la chair person t al assistant uh, well, I get a Marie Kintetti. The more control Amelia and go there. The brain behind this Iminta Mamu double a reading by control the back. Uh, more men baby day like the tone follow no, but I really want to thank all of you and the passion that you guys have. Being a Kibaro in foot and the executive committee be much more content. Uh, they are very um happy. You content the bag. Uh, Reading call the caller, and we have we are in good hands because our uh, the coordinator of the back at the back of the Georgian all the team, uh, Marie Barrow, and in uh, Kalajula, they are working uh, tirelessly to make sure that you get up, you get chapter, cool, be better, inshallah. Um, announcement of the Jantofala, no, because I don't want to step the line, <laughs> go out of the line. I'm not a PRO, 
uh, I'm the chair, but I'm not a PRO. So I have given um, directive for the PRO team to make some announcements in the main forums. And Tungo Marina, the team of Fatu Wale and Ashutobas to do the announcements in terms of things that are coming on. Uh, so one of them is this um, news in regards to writing, but there are other announcements that they have to take. So Allah Barakabake, so I just take some time of that to talk about UK chapter. And people will think that I'm biased because I'm part of the UK chapter. I'm not talking about other chapters. But if other chapters also bring anything here in the news, I will announce it because it's one UDP family. We have to be ready for 2026. It's very important. So I told member along the UDP chapter, I am a Roman dealer. I am a new mother. I am a back in faculty. Because it's a new UDP. I am a new UDP. Be like Uncle Amadou Kora. Uncle Amadou Kora, I'm on palace in the UDP. And I'm making an example of Olajan. I'm on the UDP like executive of Fomoto. You learn the founding fathers of the United Democratic Party. France and Olay Afoko, being the national president of UDP. And I'm not in Abbas Otolale, without a shadow of doubt. All right. Or oh, I can, whatever, because the national president is Ajara to Yamondo Giyabo. But I'm an example of the Deacon Brown. Now, after I say, I'm going to palace also to think. But I have a UDP that I want to see. So, Palazzo, I can't see it. I can't see it. I can't see it. I can't see it. But I can't see it. I can't see it. I can't see it. Work with your heart. Um, can't see it. I can't see it. So, branches of the people who are saying that the Congress is going to be the UDP. I can't see it. I can't see it. Lot of convincing pro alnaka for together alnaka for UDP is not like NPP. UDP into the party you can only manage to coordinate the lady. In fact, more like the na full bondi. UDP in the more be jama jama ye more jam. Um, so na na bit of marriage money, ni donation or na like donation. Na cause in sena bunyin jai. We will bring a program ke jam. Sis la jara ma already. Donated a Jara consortium donated 100 euros. Sisla has no position in UDP. Structure to the example Sisla, Ninti Sisla, number Sisla, the UDP course. So I think Palacio better at about it shouldn't be the yardstick. Buka Mola commitment. So I'm gonna try not together. And I'm very impressed with the people of Reading. Um, this Reading branch is so dear to me. Uh, because they showed a lot of enthusiasm and they they, they met within the short space of time here in a branch form. And this is a plot for UDPK chapter. So that UDK chapter is expanding and will continue to expand. Uh, now mobilization team one and they are going to come out with strategies to reach out to people. I think UDP that seems to be our our goal. Namul tie kafu party okono, namul kawanganya the party of Kono, because Karte Keso Karte Kese is important. Um, more more than that, party of Kono has a more convincing like party for a cut over UDP. So, a lot of my only worry in Reading is Nyomin Kol on Chia Pass in TJ. That one is a concern to me because no Nyomin Kol Kalamon on it. So, when Jahal, like, we go in Nyomin Kol, like Chia Pass in Tengumba, Koko, Edin Kol, a little narrow world, but anyway, Bao. Just also matter about Jaran Kola the deputy. So now on Jaran Kova finger. On that note, Allah Barakabak, good night from uh Yukon and Pantaba for some and invent the current of your show. Tomorrow, Menala Janika Kumu Dolvo, um Kibaro Mesoto from Gambia in terms of Sedu Bojan, the case ning, may along go uh a jahlo or tabak. Um they don't know Kachako only. And in fan a kibaro mesoto go retired. CDS, Abotanyame, Palazzo. Okay. Uh, that one is my dad's, Lamin is my dad's brother. Maricha Mani, mashallah. You are well connected. You are well connected. I think Lamin Mani is your brother. But Afala Muke can do it. Lamin Mani, he was the brain behind most of the thing with other people in terms of this to set up crunch. Allah Barakabari, Allah Masuto Keroshi Allah. Allah Barakabari. Ali, 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 Ali,
seri fata da bi Yeah. <laughs>